welcome. It's Abba Day. Abba has been awakened today. Oh, wait a minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I have, I have my... <laughs> I'm sorry, I got sent back into, like, the 1930s. <clears throat> that was my mistake. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh my gosh, can we start over? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. That scared you? No! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna go back in time. Blah, 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 blah. Super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue Like I always do Cause somewhere in the crowd there's you. Oh my gosh Hot pie. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you <gasps> okay, I gotta make sure I gotta make sure everything's working because stuff was breaking on me. I was fixing stuff, adding new things, cool new things. But I don't know if I should get into that yet. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. What's odd air? I am so glad you asked. But I don't know if you're ready. I don't know if you're ready. I don't know if chat's ready for odd air. I don't know if chat's ready to fly odd air, uh, international airlines. No! <laughs> uh, I said you weren't ready yet! <laughs> you're not ready! You're- no, no, I haven't even shown my face yet. I'm gonna refund you. Uh, redeem it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Here, take your- take your points back. Take your dirty points back. I don't know where you got those- I don't know where that's been. I don't know where you put those points before you handed them to me. Where am I? Oh, hi, here I am. Here I am. 10 minute cooldown. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, just take them. Take, take those stinky points back. Wash them a little bit. Use hand soap. Use, uh, hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, uh. Hang on. I feel like I'm gonna burp. Ugh. Ugh. Good thing I muted for that one. That, that was one of those like really not good ones. Like it was like, eh. <laughs> you know, it was one of those like eh, burps. It wasn't like the blah. It was like more of like the bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Gross, let me drink some water. Burp moment, ABBA moment. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Pijifu! Thank you! Thank you for five gift subs, what the heck? Weak ass burp. Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. Um, today, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff. But first of all, I gotta... <sighs> it's odd air day! <laughs> it's odd air day! It's odd, I'm, fill I'm filled with hot air. Um, 99%, um, 1% evil, 99% hot gas. <laughs> Seaweed, 50% sea, 50% weed. <laughs> you mean they, you mean, you mean they put on airs? <laughs> That's just fancy talk. <clears throat> okay, let me say hi to people, because I want to say hi to people. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath today? I just so many things so many hype things happening today. You got ABBA releasing their first two songs in, in the in 40 years. You got uh Jack Damia's debut today. Ahmed's new models happening later. Uh friggin Ot Air, which I didn't even announce. That's just the thing that's happening because I was working on it. There's a uh, friggin um 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 ABBA <laughs> ABBA! ABBA! It's September and it's ABBA season. ABBA! 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 do uh, close enough. Who the flop is ABBA? Who the... Tonight the super trooper lights are gonna find me. That ABBA, 
the Mamma Mia, here we go again, that ABBA. That ABBA energy, Swedish pop sensation ABBA, they're back. And they're gonna have a new album in November. And they're gonna have like a little concert thing. It's so good. Ah, uh, I got into ABBA a couple years ago when I watched the movie version of Mamma Mia, the musical. Um, and it's kind of silly, <laughs> but I'm obsessed. It's like kind of dumb, but I'm I'm so obsessed. <laughs> it's so good. It's about, uh, if we're going by the movie version, it's about, what's her name? Amanda, S how do you say her last name? Amanda Seaf Seafried? Seaf Seafried? How do you say her name? <laughs> uh, Amanda Se Sa Seafried? Seafried? Uh, it's about her. She plays the main character. Amanda Seafood? <laughs> it's about her, and she never met her dad, and... After, like, I don't know how she figured this out. Did she, like, rummage through Meryl Streep's uh, journal? Her mom's Meryl Streep. And she figured out that she has three potential dads. So she invites all of her potential dads to her wedding. And hijinks ensue. It's very silly. It's very lighthearted. Uh, there's a lot of ABBA music. And that's how I discovered ABBA. And ABBA's really good. And that's awesome. And now there's new ABBA music today for the first time in decades. So that's huge. Uh, the, yeah, they were, they were, they were gone for a while. Uh, they were gone. And now they're, they're back for one last, one last album. Is it on Spotify? I searched it in, on Spotify and it's like grayed out for some reason. I don't know if that's like a regional thing. Maybe it's like out in the UK first or something. But, uh, they up, they uploaded their, the songs on YouTube and I've been like listening to it on, on repeat. <laughs> I've been listening to it on repeat the whole day. <laughs> It's really good. The two singles are, I don't know why it was grayed out for me. Maybe I'm not enough of an ABBA fan. They're like, you're fake because you discovered ABBA through the movie. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, the, the movies, I would love to see the, like a live performance of the musical one day. Um, I guess I could, I could see when that's playing, when that's in town. That'd be super neat. That's not ABBA, but close enough. <laughs> you mean you've never heard ABBA's crab rave? Oh. How <laughs> Um. Yeah, thank you so much for the hype train. Oh my gosh. Uh, level three complete. Aw, thank you. Hey, guess what? It's uh, September. It's September, which means 20% off. Actually, you know what? I was talking about this last time, but I feel so bad because I did my uh, uh, subathon like closer to my actual debut day. Well, not really a debut. It was just the first time that I streamed and I had like five viewers that day. So I don't know why I put so much importance on that date, but I didn't realize that September was a thing. So I'm sorry. It could have saved you 20%. <gasps> and as penance, I will now gift 10 gift subs to the crowd for the community, for my own community. I mean, I get half of it back anyways. <laughs> Young and sweet, only 17. Actually older than that, but How do I gift my own channel? How do I do that? Uh, I don't know how to do it. I gotta go on my own stream and then do it that way. Enjoy 10 gift subs, thanks to myself. That 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 is uh for my for my sins. <laughs> that is to pay for my sins, my terrible terrible sins. What what the heck? <laughs> uh, Sithrio, thank you so much for ten more gift subs. Oh my gosh, we gotta keep the train going. You know what? I'm gonna do something special just for today because it's ABBA day. <laughs> Let me give. Five 
Not just any subs. I also got your wonderful letter. Thank you, it was very cute and sweet. Would you mind if I sent you a bunch of stickers to your P.O. box? Oh my gosh! <gasps> cute time, I'm so glad I got to you. Oh my gosh, ah, uh, thank you. And of course, you could send me whatever you want, but no pressure, of course, of course. Uh, exclamation point P.O. box, if y'all want to send me some silly stuff, that's going to be going for a while. I might extend it past, like, the holiday season. Uh, but yeah, enjoy 5 tier 2! Uh, 5 tier 2 gift subs. From yours truly. And also, thank you, Zithru. You. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> let me get to the proper thank yous. Because I, I missed a bunch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about ABBA. Okay, I'm going to start from the very bottom. Hot Pie, thank you so much for gifting out a sub. Thank you. P. Jifu, thank you for gifting five. Thank you, thank you. Narma, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you so much. LMG Aesthetic, thank you so much for the prime. But thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Arafem, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. And Tarosu, thank you so much for the resub also. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Do you support LGBT LGBTQ? Yes. <laughs> I do. Of course I do. I, I, I... I 100% I support LGBT. Uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want there to be any ambiguity whatsoever. No thoughts, head empty, only Waterloo. <laughs> well, a lot of people really like Waterloo. That's a really good one. Can you wear your hat the other way around? No. <laughs> I cannot. It does not go that way. I am like Ash Ketchum in Pokemon catching mode constantly. Always. Do you stand Luna? 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 Is that some kind of K-pop? Is that- is that some K-pop? I stand every K-pop. K-K-pop is great. I, I- I wish the- the working conditions in the K-pop industry the most healthy. But they're all great. I like K-pop. I don't- I'm not really- I'm not like super into K-pop. But I like it, and I like the way that they're pushing the music uh, video medium. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, uh, K-pop is inspired by ABBA, so in a way, ABBA Day is a victory for K-pop as well. A lot of, like, Red Velvet is, like, directly influenced from ABBA. ABBA, 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 ABBA. So, you know. Luna from Hell of a Boss or Luna from K-pop? Mm -mm. I don't know. I haven't watched Hell of a Boss. Uh, I'm sorry. I only just recently watched, um, ha uh, Has Been Hotel, like, two days ago, because the intercom voice filter that I used that I accidentally started the stream with is a shameless radio demon from Has Been Hotel ripoff, which, honestly, if you'd ask me, I'm not even sure if that's legal. Like, how, how could you just, like, rip off a character's voice like that? Ah, bum, bum, bum. Thank you so much for the boop. Um, if they said Stan Luna, it's almost definitely the K-pop one. Hmm. <laughs> no one's standing the Luna from a uh, hell of a boss. Uh, what? <laughs> what did I do? Do the voice? I missed it. It's the it's the intercom voice. I was using it a bit on on my uh, Sunshine Heavy Industries stream. Uh, from Tuesday. From Tuesday, I'm, uh, I'm from Hasbin Hotel, I'm the Radio Demon, whatever, abba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Good show, fine fellow. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you might, you, <laughs> you may have noticed that from the last stream. I'm um, Sketch, thank you so much for the resub, thank you. Uh, uh, whoa, I got, I got two, I got two notifications from you, did you? Did you, did you extend your sub or something? Thank you. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyway, Brocco the dog. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for the hype train. I really appreciate it. Y'all are so sweet. Um. Thank you for being here on this lovely Thursday. I feel like so many things are happening. Uh. Um. 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 <laughs> um. 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 Bottom text. Hang on, my brain is a little scrambled right now. Mm-mm. <clears throat>
Is it time to board the plane? Is it time to board Ot Air? Are you ready to board Ot Air? <laughs> so many things are happening. Bottom text. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have your, um, do you, do you have your little, uh, what do you call it? Your little, um, what do you call it when, when you're about to board the flight and you have your little ticket? A ticket? <laughs> do, have you checked in? Have you checked in all your bags to Ot Air? Are you ready? You, you boarding pass, yeah. Your boarding pass. Everyone show me your boarding pass, okay? Everyone get your passports out. Show me your boarding pass. Tell me the three funny n numbers at the end of your uh, credit card. Uh, get ready to board. Um, we're boarding. We're boarding, uh, what do you call it? How do you say it when you, like, how do, what do they do? They, they board, like, the back of the plane first? Um, what, what's it called? Like, section... I haven't been to an airport in so long. <laughs> I forgot. You know how they board by section? Uh, is it, like, oh, section, uh, now boarding... Now boarding, uh, uh... What, what? <laughs> I'm blanking so hard. <laughs> they they go by number, right? It's like oh, section three, like now boarding section three, three and four. Is it called a section or is it is it something else? Is it a section terminal? It's not the terminal. No, terminal is 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 like the part of the airport. Group A is it group? Is it by group? Group now 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 boarding group three and four. And, uh, two, and one, uh, all right, everyone shuffle in. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-h
but I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, here, let me here here that, that that's that's better. You can be chat over there. I'll be airport over here. Okay, does that sound good? This is the Finland airport. Whoa, how did you recognize that? Okay, here we go. Uh, so scared because <laughs> I haven't tested this out yet. I literally just finished this and popped it in and I'm like, okay, here we go. Starting stream now. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna accept it. So, so you can't get your points back after this. It, it has been done. Okay, here we go. What, what kind of like, you know when, when your seatbelt button turns on and it goes like bam bam and it's like, hey, this is your captain speaking. Okay, uh uh, uh, bam bam. <laughs> of light. <laughs> oh no, my, 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 uh, my lanyard doesn't attach onto my neck properly. <laughs> ah! cash to sub. Oh boy. I knew something would go wrong, huh? Why doesn't it work? It was working before when I tested it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. Drat. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zithryu, for... Yo, what the heck? Five tier two? Are you matching me? No, I'm supporting my own channel. You don't have to, but thank you so much. Ah! Thank you, thank you. Um, Pokemancer, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for- I, I really appreciate it. Um, Lion Master, thank you so much for the Prime. And Dequarius, thank you so much as well. Thank you, thank you. Um? Oh my gosh, the first ever flight attendant Chester boop. Ah, mom, mom, mom. That's not part of the in-flight meal. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> um, why is this? Hang on, hang on. I'm so I'm sorry. This mystery is gonna burn. It's, it's gonna. It's gonna. It's well, gonna eat yeah. away at me for the rest of the night until I figure it out. Wow. Oh, uh, thank you so much for redeeming that. I just remembered. Starilla, also, thank you so much for the resub. Um, I added a new sound redemption for no particular reason, but. Now you can pay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sketchy Scott. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Happy September, everybody. Um, Now you can pay money to have Pearl from Steven Universe scream, why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought that would be funny. And now you can do it. <laughs> Why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? Anyway. Love the flight attendant outfit. You'd fit in right in with Pan Am. If only they were still around. Pan Am? What's Pan Am? I don't know what Pan Am is, but I would fit right in and buy Am, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Why won't you just let me do oh this? Oh my god! <laughs> Is it because I said I was bisexual? <gasps> I'm sorry, Pearl. <laughs> Why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> So that basically that that sound redeem is just like a quick way to get me to shut up because I don't think I could finish my sentence if I just hear Pearl yelling at me for no reason. <laughs> Why would so dramatic? Why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? I mean, why won't you let Ah, <laughs> uh, I thank you for the pets. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Do you mind if I figure this out because I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, the sub thing is over there. I get that out. Get get I get on out of there. Mm -mm. Oh right. Uh one thing you gotta know about this costume. There's no pants. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but flight attendants wear like really like form-fitting skirts. Pan Am used to be an international and airline, my and thighs are too huge. Were iconic. Pan Am was oh, whoa, really? Hang, hang on, Pan Am flight attendant. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have used this as inspiration. It's so clean, you know? <laughs> Absolutely, I like yeah, that. Too. Um, so, this is like a really minor note, but um, actually my feet look different now. Uh, my, my feetsies are a little different. I redrew them. Uh, just because I feel like these plant- these are more planted and they- they- they're better, I think. They- they fit better on the ground. And also I have like four toes instead of three toes. Uh, because I feel like four toes makes a lot more sense. So, uh, have- take a good long look. <laughs> Anyways. Oh yeah, don't look at my ID card. It's got sensitive information on it. <clears throat> don't look at my sensitive information ID card. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Anyways. Oh my gosh, the attention to detail. Why won't you just let what me the? This for you, Rose? <laughs> ah, Pearl, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, let's let's get this sorted out. Which means I'm gonna have to look this away. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look. Turn flight on. Enjoy your in-flight programming. Okay, so... Yo, what? Am I seeing this right? Look at this! Doesn't it look correct? What's happening? Something happened here. Hmm. Something suspicious happened here. Hmm. Maybe it has to do with the physics. Hmm. What could it be? Interesting. This is why I didn't catch it. Does everything else work properly? Hmm. Highly suspect. Are you leaning or are you strafing? I know nothing about VTuber physics. I'm leaning. I can't strafe. That that's that is highly sus. It's not working like it's supposed to. Do 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 do. Hmm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ma wait, ma wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have, I have a hunch that it could be something. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. Oh, I just realized that the music is, like, basically non-existent. I'm sorry about that. Otter lore. Um, hey, you don't know if the... <laughs> you don't know if the ID card is canon. Hello? What? <laughs> you don't know if the ID card is canon or not. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you, what are you talking about? What do, you, what do you mean? <laughs> what, you, what if I stole it, huh? Yeah. Well, the J stands for Jojo? Hmm. <laughs> um. Why is, why is this? Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. That is so interesting. Why is the lanyard in the pants layer? It's not. It's it's not in the pants layer. It's in the uh breathing torso layer. My layer management here is so messy. Like don't I hope you're not taking notes because uh even my chibi model is so much more organized than this one. Um every model you make it, it literally just like you learn every single time. Like, I thought I knew what I was doing here, but, uh, it's kind of a hot mess. There's so many, like, different moving parts in, in Live 2D, excuse me. Milkshake Mew, thank you so much for the resub, thank you, thank you. Sketchy Scott, thank you so much for the five! <laughs> Did I thank you already? Thank you so much for the five gift subs, I really appreciate it, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Pants, Pants Slayer? <laughs> what do you mean, Pants Slayer? What? Ah, I know why it's not working. It's because of the gnomes. The gnomes. It looks like it's... The body Z parameter, perhaps? Okay, this actually shouldn't be happening. Maybe it just exported wrong. I don't think that's... I'm not sure if that's a thing that could happen, but... I suppose... I suppose it could, right? You never know. I could just export it again. Here, let's, let's try exporting it one more time. Maybe I don't have to fix anything at all. Maybe it's already fixed and I just didn't realize it. Okay. In the meantime... Uh, look at this model that Alu made for me as a gift, uh, in, in the meantime. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. <laughs> it's based off of the little animation that I did. I, actually, this is the first time I'm seeing it. <laughs> so thank you, Alu. What the heck? <laughs> so sweet. Um, let me just pop in the expressions really quick. I need to open Live 2D Cubism Viewer. That should work. This should work. I believe this should work. How's everyone doing? I'm so sorry. I have... Uh, I don't know why. I kind of feel... I just think I got overloaded with the whole ABBA thing and everything else happening. That I'm a little scatterbrained today, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I'm having a really good Thursday. I think this week has Our been going really... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. I'm so sorry I look like this right now. Let me, let me change the model in just a second. Welcome on in. Thank you so much, Max Fluffy. How was your stream? Welcome on in, raiders. I don't normally look like this. Uh, I- I look like this. I got abba- abba brain. I got ab brain. 
<laughs> Abba brain. I got Abba on the brain. Uh, okay. Um, everything else is working okay. My ears are still floppy, right? Okay, let's try it one more time. Don't be alarmed, Raiders, but I'm gonna change into my flight attendant costume. That's... That's just... <laughs> that's just how it's gonna be today. Uh, okay, oh my gosh, can I get some frat boy praise? I'm so scared that it's not gonna work properly. Uh, everyone, everyone pray for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're taking off. Oh my gosh, we're taking off. Uh, okay. Welcome to Ot Air. Thank you for choosing Ot Air International Airlines. <sighs> oh crap, here we go. It's not working. No! No! Why? Why is it doing that? Huh? No! <laughs> no! That's so weird. I can't think of a reason why that's not working. I really can't. I really can't understand it. I wonder what's going on here. Is it the physics? <laughs> We're gonna have a shirtless flight attendant? Uh, you mean just shirtless? <laughs> um... Let me, let me look at chat for a sec. What do we do here? I've never been here. Welcome, Narcotic Python! You don't do anything, you just relax here. I have very low-key streams. Uh, some people like to chill. I play video games sometimes. I draw. Um, I don't know. We just like to chat. I hope you enjoy the vibes, but if not, I hope you have a good night. Um, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. It's the gnomes. The gnomes! The gnomes! The gnomes are after me! Ah, uh, I know I should roll with it, but I've been- I was so sure that I had this figured out today. I really don't know what it could be. Is it the physics? I don't think it is. I don't think it is the physics because you can tell that when I, um, when I turn really quickly, like, you can see the deformation on it very, very clearly, but it's the, the body Z that doesn't work, which that's like the, thing that I would expect to work, because... All I did to make the body Z move was just move it around. So that- that makes no sense at all. Like, I... Like, you could just move it, right? Maybe it's that it's... Oh, I just had a brain blast moment. I just figured it out. I think. Okay. Do you see? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, bear with me here, but check this out, all right? Dino EX, thank That's you so cute. much. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. Ah, meet me. All right, check this out. Do you see this? Are you seeing this shit? So when I go like this, it's fucked up. But when I turn, wait, hang on. Something's happening that is like making it, I think it's a key, it's a, some key forms are conflicting with each other. So when I, there should be like a specific angle of my face. If I face directly in front of the, <clears throat> If I, if I directly face the camera, like this, and like perfectly lean to the side, it should be like, it should work. But as soon as I turn, the keyforms bump into each other. It's the pants. What pants? <laughs> what pants? 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, nobody wears pants on this flight. Uh, get used to it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I'm a dumb dumb. I, I literally just figured it out. Okay, here it is. Here. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody, but I am so happy that I figured this out. Here it is. Okay. Um. So. Quick rundown for how things work in Live 2D, right? You have your drawing parts. Your drawing parts can be grouped into what are called deformers, which are basically like just... You can either, you can actually just group a drawing into itself, just put it in a deformer, but you, you could put multiple drawings into deformers, so they kind of serve as like little groups. Um, and you can either, depending on the angle of the body, you're basically just sliding the drawing parts around and keyframing it. So when you keyframing it, when you keyframe it, it's called, they're called keyforms in Life 2D for some reason, but you basically just tell it, hey, save this position when you look up. Save this position when you look down. Save this position when you look left. Save this position when you look right. And these little saved dots, the green ones over here, they're attached to either the drawing or the deformer. So only the drawing or deformer that are that that's green is affected by it. Right? So it, got, it starts to get tricky because you don't always want to just key everything on the drawing. Sometimes it's useful to have it separated. Uh, so... I have both the lanyard and the card in a deformer called Lanyard Master. And Lanyard Master is the one where you can see if I just click the lanyard, I don't have any keyframe, uh, keyform information on the angle. Uh, you can still see it move, but because this is a preview of what the, what the finished model looks like. But once you click the deformer, which is the little group that I put everything into, this has the information saved onto it. So that's why the lanyard can move uh, when I when I change my angle, when I look around like this. Um, the nice thing about this though, and the interesting thing about this is, you, you can actually have multiple parameters. Uh, multiple parameters can be tied to a single deformer. I like to have them separate. Just because like, for example, uh, if we zoom in here, this card, don't, don't read my, my f fictional address. That would make me upset. But this is a rotation deformer. Um, and if you scroll down here, uh, you'll see actually that like rotation is here. I wouldn't do this rotation on the master deformer because it's specific to this particular part of the drawing. Um, once you have them separated, they can actually like animate independently of each other. The problem here, and you can see it, it's green if you look closely. The lanyard master, I accidentally keyed body Z on lanyard master, but lanyard master is where I have up, down, left, right, angle X and Y keyed. Uh, the thing that happens when you have two keyforms, uh, sorry. The thing that happens when you have two parameters keyed on a single deformer is that, so, they actually, like, start to conflict with each other. Uh, you could make it work if you really wanted to. Right now, I have body Z centered. Uh, it's centered right now. And up, down, left, right works properly, like this. But as soon as I go down here to body Z and make myself lean to the left, um, all of the information saved on angle X and Y would have to be corrected for, but I didn't. I didn't do it. Once you have two or more parameters keyed, they have to, like, you have to make it work in every single, like, combination of keys. <laughs> so, so now this is, like, in the middle of X and Y, and it looks right when body Z is to the when body Z is to the left. But as soon as you go body Z at zero, uh, body Z at negative one, X Y up here, it starts to revert back to the center position. 
See? It keeps going back to default every time it's not in the center, because I shouldn't have keyed more than one on one. Sometimes I, I do, but it's... It's just like, it just it just doesn't know what to do. Like, it's not sure where to put it. Uh, so, there there's an easy fix here. Uh, all I can, all I have to do is, um, I'm over here right now on the bottom left. I can take the master deformer and just separate it. I'll just copy and paste it so there's two. I'll call this one, uh, FL for flight underscore lanyard master angle for X and Y. And then, oops, I, that was close. I accidentally moved something. Here, let's... You could really, really mess your life up by accidentally dragging stuff out of order here. So let me let me just do that again. <laughs> uh, I un, I did undo a few times and I just like... Now I'm back in it. So I'll call this one angle, and I'll call this one body Z. So what I'll do is... I'll bring everyone back to the center. I'll go into the body Z one and delete all of this. I'm going to delete all of this information. Delete. So that now it's only leaning left and right. But because I have a copy of it here, uh, this one still has all of the keyform information stored here. I can get rid of the body Z one on this one. I basically just copied it and have... I'm going to have both of them just like do their own thing. So body Z, delete. And now all I have to do is drag one into the other so that they're nested within each other. Um, now, as I mentioned before, uh, because they're not conflicting with each other in the same deformer, I can lean and I can look every which way. They don't conflict with each other anymore. Look! It's fixed now! Like, it doesn't matter which direction I'm leaning in, because they both operate independently. Uh... It's very tricky. Uh, Vapor! <laughs> I did notice that you were having some, like, eye-blinking problems, and... I mean, I didn't know how to explain it, but I think that it could be because, like, you have eye-blinking and angle maybe, like, conflicting with each other, so it's, like, it's, it's blinking if you're looking perfectly forward, but as soon as you, like, inhabit the model, it's, like, one, the angle is bumping into the, to the eye open parameter and stuff, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> you can actually have multiple deform, uh, multiple parameters keyed to one deformer, you just have to make sure every single combination is accounted for, so you'll have to, like, go back into it and fix it, like, you'll, if you want to make it work, you could, instead of separating the two, which I recommend, you could actually just, like, have it so that, you know, you look to the top right, and then you fix the eyes, and then you go top middle, fix the eyes, and then you go top right and fix the eyes, and then middle left, fix the eyes, front, fix it, and then just go through every single one, and then it should work. But that's, like, taking the long way. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I rambled for way too long about this. This is like incredibly niche. <laughs> did you learn Live 2D in school or are you self-taught? I'm, I'm self-taught, but I did uh, work a summer doing something that was similar to this. So a lot of that carried over and I guess some of that was from school. Um, and it's, it's tough though, because like Live 2D, there's not as much documentation for Live 2D as like say Blender or like Adobe Flash or something. So it can be kind of like infuriating to like figure out something that's just not working properly. Cause you can't just like Google it. Um, VTuber stuff is pretty niche. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad that it's like, now that there's more people making their own models and stuff, like there's more of like a, there's more of a community around it. And that's the reason why I like to use Blender so much is because like Blender is so well documented. I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm just like nice and warm and taken care of. Uh, it's like, you're never alone when you're using Blender because a million other people are struggling with it too. But when you're using Live 2D, you might actually be alone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let's go back to the screen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I feel really productive now. Okay! Hooray! Okay, well, actually, I am gonna hold my tongue until... I export it again, and then it actually works. In the meantime, 
I'm going to switch to, uh, I'm going to switch to, we're going to go back in time. <sighs> okay, Chester 1.0, watch everyone while I'm gone. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, overwrite. Yes, saving. Saving in progress. Uh, it's still saving. Um, it's still saving. <laughs> I hope I hope everyone's comfy. It is Throwback Thursday. You love the swirly ear fluff? Oh yeah! You know what? I never really even thought of that. Hmm. Swirly ear fluff redeem when? Okay, I'm so confident that this is going to work that I'm going to just close live 2D because I I just I just feel it in my bones that this is going to work. I know it. I have faith. Live 2D viewer. No, cubism viewer. There we go. But can can I get some frat boy praise just in case? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like my hubris is gonna be my undoing. Habapaka. Habapapa. What? Oh, did I get a redeem? Oh, let me let me have a look. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Save. Save again. Close this. Oh, thank you for the prayers. Check this out. Check it out. I think I may have gotten enough prayers to have this work properly. This is the moment of truth. Here we go. Oh! <gasps> Thank God! <laughs> I was gonna go bananas if I hadn't figured it out! Look! It works now! Look! <gasps> oh, there's nothing like the feeling of having something that finally works. Ooh, I'm riding that high. <laughs> ah, oh, you just poked my scarf. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm feeling that like live 2D euphoria. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. That feels awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Abba. Thank you. You defeated the, the gnome. Okay. Now I'm going to check my discord to see what was redeemed. Oh yeah. I could reuse this for like, uh, for like a con badge or something. This is not a real address, by the way, so it's don't mail anything to this because it doesn't exist. I have a real P.O. box. <laughs> I swear to God, if you mail stuff to a fictional address, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be so mad. Okay. Oh, you want me to put dog of dog of wisdom on my head? Uh, let me see if I can find a transparent version of dog of wisdom. Ha! Dog of wisdom. PNG. Hmm. Hmm. I can't find any. Hang on. Let's let's make this happen. It is hard to find a transparent version. What does PS stand for? PAS stands for Party Animal Society, which is the name of my Discord. <laughs> uh, you can join the Discord if you want to. Okay. 
It'll just be a minute. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Pop that there. Oh, God. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> that solves that problem. Okay. Okay. Bop bop. Save that there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! I got the dog of wisdom on my head. That's good wisdom. Does the thing on your head replace the odd air hat? No! <laughs> I actually don't have it separated, so I actually can't even take this hat off. Um, and it, I know it does funny things with my hair. Oh well. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Aari! Or Paz, rather. Thank you. I want a PAS pin IRL. That would be cute, right? I just thought of it when I drew the hat. Okay. Okay. Finally. We're finally gonna get to the thing that I was planning to do today. We're not just gonna fuck around all day. We're actually gonna play a game today. I, uh... I saw Dottie Dog play this game called Buddy Simulator and it looked so cool, so... I bought it and I'm going in basically blind. Mmm... It's kind of like an indie game. A lot of the reviews call it like something that's like Undertale. I guess it's another Undertale-like, but it's, uh... It looks a lot different. <laughs> so, we're gonna play a game called Buddy Simulator 1984. And that's why the title of the stream is called Literally 1984. Uh, that's the only reason. Yeah, it's called Buddy Simulator. It's an Undertale, like... Well, I mean, like, everyone compares games to Undertale nowadays, so I don't know if it, like, means anything. It could just mean, like, pixel art, top-down indie game that with feelings. Uh, which, I don't know if that's a useful category. So, I don't want to do the game a disservice by comparing it to another game. We're just gonna play it and figure out- figure it out for ourselves. Dark Souls? Under... Under Dark Souls? Tail? What the heck is that cute outfit you're wearing, frat boy? Heart. Hi, Nekume. Hi. <laughs> I'm a flight attendant today. Thank you for flying Ot Air. Uh? Alright, I have to gather my marbles because I lost them all. So many things happening. First, my, my model wasn't working, and then it's working, and then ABBA. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. Uh, I read 1984, the book. Did you like it? I kind of half read it. I was supposed to read it because my parents put me in this like, like get ahead with school, summer school thing. Like it was just like academic tutoring just because they wanted me to be ahead of the curve. So they made me go on, they made me go to school over the summer and on the weekends and I basically never had any free time, I was just studying all the time. Now I hate school! <laughs> but, uh, during one of those summer, summer classes, I, I had to read 1984 and I kind of, like, half read it. I mostly read it through Sparknotes. I mean, like, I basically can't read. Paz, thank you so much for gifting us up to Yoshio, thank you! Uh, didn't Q-Force come out today? It did come out today! So, uh, I hope you enjoy Q-Force. <laughs> 
uh, I really like the I, I, I enjoyed working on the show. I think it looks gorgeous and uh, it's out on Netflix if you want to check it out. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Uh, wake up. Uh, babe, wake up. You're streaming. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> here we go. Um, 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 I'm gonna move the dashboard over here. Lose the shirt? I can't lose the shirt. I already have an outfit on today. I'm gonna refund you, uh, Vodka, ne Vodka Nima. Thank you so much, uh, bleh, I can't talk. Thank you so much for redeeming that. Uh, I'm gonna give you your points back, so no worries. But, okay, here we go. Big Otter is watching. <laughs> Big Otter is watching. People say that 1984 is about government spying on its citizens or some shit, but we all know that it's actually about saying that living in Britain fucking sucks. It's actually about VTubers. Did you know Big Brother from 1984 is is technically a VTuber, if you think about it? Ooh. Ooh, you never thought about that, did ya? Is Big... Did George Orwell come up with the idea of VTubers with the hit novel 1984? Hell yeah. Big Otter. <laughs> <clears throat> Big Otter is watching you. Big Otter is watching you. Big Otter is watching you. Let's play Buddy Simulator 1984. I feel safe? Oh, good. It's good that you feel safe. Um, um, here we go, here we go, off the rails, don't you know it's time to raise our sails. Hang on, hang on, it's loading up. Is it gonna work with me? Come on, come on, OBS, <laughs> please. I can use this view instead, but this one should work too. Whatever, let's just use this one. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Sorry, I bumped the mic. Okay. <sighs> Anacom official OS version 3.2.3. .3. Enter help for more assistance. Uh, help. Wait, is it gonna work with me? Help. There we go. Whoops. Still not gonna work. Okay, fine. I'll use this one. What are your thoughts on peanut butter banana sandwiches? That, that sounds like it could work good, right? Why are there so many smiley faces? <laughs> Let's go help. Uh, view ROMs. What do you mean ROMs, huh? I don't even know what the word ROMs means, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, buddy simulator? Enter run followed by the title of the ROM you want to launch. View songs. <gasps> we could play songs? We gotta view songs first. No songs have been found! Ooh. Ooh. Um... View ROMs. Oh, there's one ROM found. Buddy Simulator 1984. Run, but do I have to put it in brackets? I don't, I'm not going to do brackets. Simulator 1984. Here we go. Loading Buddy Simulator 1984. Welcome to Buddy Sim 
Buddy Simulator 1984 version 4.2.199 Copyright 1984, not a Sailor Studios. Greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. To which chat? Or maybe just chat. Just chat. Let's just do chat. You are about to enter... You are about to name your buddy chat. Is this correct? This cannot be changed later. Yes. Creating new buddy chat. Dot, 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 dot. Hello? Hi. Wait, wait. Show feet. Chat, and I'm your, I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Chester. Wager Alms. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Team Chrissyam is doing an illegal. Ban them Amazon daddy. No! I thought you were on my side. Your name? <clears throat> your name is Chester? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chester. I can already tell that we are going to become best pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is... I'm really liking yellow right now. Let's say yellow-green. I, I kind of like the neon yellow-green. I've never heard of the color yellow-green. Pick a different one. Okay, just yellow. Simple-ass 1984 AI. Yellow is a pretty color. I like yellow. What month is your birthday in? My birthday is in June. Like, that's my actual real birthday. <laughs> Don't steal my information. Okay, great. How about the day? Uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> Two. Wow, that's only 273 days away! Now get ready, this one's a tough one. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal... is a raccoon. Raccoon, I like that choice. One more question, this one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet raccoon, what would you name it? If I had a pet raccoon, what would I name the raccoon? Hmm. Not otter? I am an otter. How many people... All right, how many humans in chat have human as their favorite animal, huh? You can't have yourself as your favorite animal. Come on. <laughs> Chester 2? Cheddar? That's cute. Cheddar. Trash panda. Hmm. Just name it after you since it's your real fursona. <gasps> oh, but I don't know if I would name my, my pet raccoon Chris. <laughs> um, I, I was kind of going off of the idea that if I were to have switched to the raccoon VTuber, it would have been named Pomaro. P-O-M-A-R-O. P-O-M-A-R-O. Someone told me that like a, like a Pomaro, like a, there's a fruit called like Pomoroso or something? Pomarosa? Something like that? So I'll name it Palmer. I'll name my pet raccoon Pomaro. Pomaro the raccoon. Sounds like it would be make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color. Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. Loading game hub. Aw, looks like I'm playing Fallout New Vegas right now.
Pom Pomodoro, is that what it is? A pomelo? Yeah, that might have been it. I don't know. I don't know exotic fruits. Ah, oh, banana. <laughs> ba banana. Pomeranian's a dog breed. Uh, oh, I get to pick a game. So this is the game hub. Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? Imagine if you named the raccoon after yourself. Mom, Chris pooped in the kitchen and got into the trash. I don't have to be a raccoon for that. <laughs> okay, number three. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Loading rock, paper, scissors. Instructions. Chat wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, and scissors. If you are not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. First to three wins. Start. Um, rock, paper, or scissors? Let's, you gotta go rock. Rock is the best one. Rock is overpowered. What? What? How could you, chat? We, well, they're never going to guess that I'm going to go rock two times in a row. So you got to go rock again. Aha! See? So now they're thinking, okay, they just did rock two times in a row. There's no way they're going to do rock three times in a row. But here's the thing. I'm going to do rock three times in a row because they're not going to expect it. Rock. Oh, it's tied. Okay. So now they're thinking, oh, they're just going to go rock. Like, they're going to go rock for the entire game. So you got to go scissors. That's how you psych them out. Boom. Got them. Are they just going in order? Didn't they do paper before? So you got, let me go, let me go rock again. What? Oh, they're tricky. Ooh, they're trying to psych me out. Okay. So this is the part where I go back to my all rock strategy. Aha! <laughs> Oof, you got lucky on that one. I've got another question. What's your favorite season? My favorite season is fall. I like fall. And it's gonna be fall soon, so I'm really happy. Fall, I'll keep that in mind. Loading game hub. Let's try guess the number. Did anyone else see that? See what? They had paper at first and then switched? Wait, really? You, you're going easy on me? You're going easy on me, buddy simulator? I don't- don't patronize me. <clears throat> don't patronize me. I could handle a game of rock, paper, scissors. Okay, here we go. I miss having the actual season of fall. Yeah, I think if I grew up somewhere else, I wouldn't have fall as my favorite season because they don't have fall everywhere. Like in California, there's like basically no fall. Or I guess Florida doesn't have fall either. I just like when the leaves turn yellow and orange and stuff. <gasps> yellow, my favorite color. Okay. Let's try guess the number. Loading guess the number. I grew up in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. That's why fall is the best. Ugh. But then, I don't know. Can I even say that fall is my favorite season because it's so, like, region-specific? I don't know. Feels like cheating because it's so good. It's so good that, like, a lot of people don't get the good fall. To begin, type start. Guess the number that Chad is thinking of. I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10. Uh, five. Sorry, that's not it. Six. Sorry, that's not it. 420? Oh, sh of course, 420, 420. Nope, too high. Seven. Nope, too high. Four. Three. Two. You got it! Okay. Now I'm thinking of a number from one, fif one to 15. Guess again. Five. No, try again. Six. That's not it. Seven. Too low. Ten. Too low. Thirteen. Too low. Fifteen. Too high. Fourteen! <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Yes, you're really good at this. Now I'm thinking of a number from one to ten thousand. Four. 
420. No, try again. 10,000. Uh, 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 5,000. Here's a hint. It's your birthday. Uh, 602? Um, uh, huh? I don't understand. 62? You won! You probably thought I was serious about the 1 to 10,000 thing, didn't you? Haha! <laughs> I'm having such a great time, aren't you? Yeah! I thought so. Loading game hub. I'm just having a good time with my buddy, right? Liquifier, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. And did I thank you, Nekume? Thank you again. Uh, hi, Ken. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm hanging out with my buddy. My buddy's name is Chat. Okay. Let's play Hangman. Try to figure out what phrase Chat is thinking of. Type in a letter to guess, but be careful. You only have a certain amount of guesses. Start. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? Can I do vowels? Some- okay, let's do E. You got it! Oh, okay. A? You think that there would be an A? I'm gonna try I. What could the second word be? Is? It could either be is or in. Let's try S. Something is... Something... Friend. R. N. D. Chester. Ah, Look! The chat likes me! <laughs> Chester is... My... Friend. That was so quick! How did you know? I know I started existing only 11 minutes and 39 seconds ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like, one that's not artificial? I... Uh... Uh... Yes... What is their name? Uh, uh, um, Merm 2 is one of them. Uh, 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 I don't know, I think chat might come and murder you. <laughs> Meet Mew, Chester 2, um, 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 Pea Balls? Chris? Chris? Oh, that's scary. Chris. Um. Let me think. Say one of your ex's names. I do not want to share that with chat. <laughs> or actual chat either. Uh, Paz, thank you so much for gifting a sub to transgender. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's do, um, um, the character Chester canonically has a friend named Perry, like Perry the platypus, but not actually a platypus, like Perry the human. That was the person in the old tier, in the old tier two emotes. So let's, let's say Perry, because we're in character. Hmm. Perry, they sound nice. Well, if anything ever happened between you two, just know we'll have each other. Chester and chat against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. Loading game hub. Type the number of what game you want to play. Wow, it looks like we already played all the games. 
Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm gonna be honest with you, Chester. These games get old really fast, and I can tell that you already, you're already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? Yeah... Yes, I do. It's not hard to entertain me. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you're sure? Yeah. Are you sure you're sure you're sure? Maybe? I'm not sure what that means. Yes. Are you sure you're sure you're sure you're sure? Yes? Are you sure you're sure you're sure you're sure you're sure? You sure? No. I'm happy we both agree. Just like buddies do. Give me one second or longer, I might have an idea. Aha! Loading modified game hub. Okay. Modified game hub. Monday, April 2nd. I have some great news. I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed onto my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Chester. Four. Loading Monday, April 2nd. Invalid data. Uh, start. Monday, April 2nd, read-only mode. Purchases. Baseball cap. Popsicle. Straub. Straub. Uh, dog food. AJ's. 8-pack. Birthday card. Floppy disk. Wow, that was so fun, I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'm always having a good time. Loading modified game hub. Well, it looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. You, you were just born, and therefore you are pure and new and devoid of all sin. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, well, I think it could make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type chat.systemaccess equals true. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Love granting administrative access to AIs. It's the way of the future, buddy. Here we go. All right. Hey, listen, chat is our friend, okay? Chat would never hurt us. Also, hi, Alu. <laughs> uh, we're playing Buddy Simulator, and we, we have a new friend named Chat. And Chat wants to create a new game for us to play so that we could be friends longer. Oh, enjoy your Chester coin, Dargan. I don't know why it, like, really got cancelled really quickly. But at least it got logged by the... By the... By the little thing. System access granted. ID chat. We are going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon! Okay. Quit. Oh! And by the way, thank you for waking me up, Chester. Uh... Okay, quit. Okay, bye, Chester! Okay. Gonna open the game again. I like the smiley face with the space. It's so much more aesthetically pleasing. I always thought that smile, like the colon with the, with the parentheses without a space, looked too squished together. Right? Doesn't it look squished together without it? I like it. Um... Enter help for more assistance. Where is chat? Uh, let's run Buddy Simulator 1984 to wake to wake chat up. What? 
View ROMs. Oh! My mistake. The ROM is called The Adventure of Chester. Here we go. Uh, run The Adventure of Chester. Reminder, enter quit at any time to quit the ROM. Welcome to The Adventure of Chester, written and developed by chat. 9.2.21 Now loading. You're walking along a road. It's dark, trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The oranges and browns of the leaves tremble as a wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. Uh, after walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Type help at any time for a list of commands. Help. Inventory. Enter inventory to view all of your current items. Go. Followed by a location. Uh, use. Okay. We can, we can go left. Pondering deeply on your choice, you start down the left road. It starts going downhill. You try to step carefully. You see, ahead is a small speck of light. As you get closer, you realize it's a lantern hung on a tree. Uh, take lantern. You take the lantern in your hand. You have light. Lantern added to your inventory. Moving, for moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels cut into it, one left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. Should I do? There's two tunnels, one with light and one with no light. We should go towards the light, right? Uh, do I have to use lantern? You don't need to use the lantern right now. You want me to go left? Left hasn't failed me. Go left. You start going left. You realize this was a bad idea. You can't see anything. It's too dark. You start shivering. Will you go back? Use lantern. You light the lantern and can now see. The tunnel is still very dark ahead. The walls look wet. Will you go back? No. You continue onward. You still see no light and the entrance is disappearing behind you. It's very cold. Will you go back? I'm pretty sure we're just going deeper and deeper into the cave. So let's go back. You leave the last tunnel and feel relieved. Moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels cut into it, one left and one right. You can see some light coming- okay, let's go right. After going through the right tunnel, you emerge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in, a for in the forest surrounding it. Hmm. Uh, help. Uh, look at playground. A pair of swings sway gently next to an old seesaw. That's all you can make out from here. Look at the shed. Drab and tiny, the shed looks like it's been here much longer than the house. Look at pond. A murky pond sloshes quietly behind the house. You can see a small dock is there too. Look at dock. There is no dock to look at. Okay. <laughs> um. Look at house. The house looks brand new and much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. Go house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there is a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Do, do backflip. I don't know the action do. Hmm. Can I enter house? The handle shimmies but doesn't open. It's locked. Look for key. There is no four to look at. 
Use key. You don't have a key to use. Hmm. Help. Look. You don't know what to look at. Inventory. I have a lantern. How does a house sh a handle shimmy? I don't know, kind of just like, you know, it just kind of just like, yeah, exactly, like, uh, like frat boy sweep. That's what the handle did. Look around, look around. There is no around to look at. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, locations. Go playground. Oops. Go playground. You step off the porch, make note, then head to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting, sitting on one of those swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Look, doll. It is patiently sitting in the swing as if it's waiting for someone. Go seesaw. You're already on the seesaw. Uh, go swings. Swings. You're already near the swings. Uh, help. Use doll. <laughs> Darn it. It's the Chester plush? Hell yeah, I want that. What? It's just a doll on the ground. Use use swings. One seat is taken. You take the other one. Wait. It's taken by the doll? Chains screech as you begin swinging. Just as you begin to get high, you look at the doll and stop. Its head is now turned towards you. You get off the swing. It's not fun anymore. Take doll. Use seesaw. Approaching the seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes. You take a seat on, a th on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Look, house. The house looks brand new and much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. Can you talk to the doll? Can you talk? I don't think you can talk. I don't know the action talk. Locations. Go shed. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You're now standing in front of the shed. You can see a light flickering inside. Go light. Use shed. Locations. <laughs> uh, okay, go inside. You enter the shed. Type leave to leave the shed at any time. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall. A small chest in the far corner, and a trap door in the floor. Go chest. You're already near the chest. Use chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Doll added to the, your inventory. Go trap door. Uh, use trap door. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. The subterranean room is dimly lit, but it's still too dark to see anything. A pull chain in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Use light socket. Wait, locations. Oh. Go back. Take fishing pole. Fishing pole added to your inventory. Leave. Use chain? I don't think I could use chain. Let's 
Oh yeah, actually maybe I maybe I should use chain. Uh go trap door. Oh you oops. Eh, 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 eh. Use trap door. Okay. Use chain. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. The trap door swings shut. It's now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space somewhere near the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. You suddenly feel hands all over you, rifling around. You try to push them away, but they're too strong. The door swings back open, then the door is lit again. There is nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a raccoon. You like it. Someone pet me in the dark. Someone just pet Chester in the dark and gave me a picture of a raccoon. Okay. Thank you. Say thank you. Leave. 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 Thank you for giving me the gift art. <laughs> uh, let's go to the playground and, and unite the dolls. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on the swings is a small doll. Uh, use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then, nothing happens. Uh... Go house. You begin to, but... Once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. You're at the- you're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. Use door. Uh, use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take just a little longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh help. Location. Locations. Go pond. You step off the porch. Make note, then head to the pond. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Look, water. It's too dark and scummy to see through. Use water. <laughs> you scoop up the water and take a sip. It tastes like mud. You bet there's clean water in the house. Uh, look. Locations. What? Oh, fishing pole. Yeah, use fishing pole. I forgot I had the fishing pole. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. What does that mean? What does that mean? A fish? Or a man? Go house! I want to go house. Okay. Uh, you take another look at the murky water and then head to the house. You are back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. Use key. Oops! <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too! You sure feel like this should be the last one, for sure. Probably. Loca- uh, locations. <sighs> is this Buddy Simulator? Yes, yes it is. This is my first playthrough. I'm going in blind. Mm. Uh... What do I do? Go... Go shed? You step off the porch. 
Make note, then head to the shed. Okay. Or ugh, inventory, I guess. I have a picture of a raccoon. Use picture. You don't need to use the picture right now. Can you take the chain? Oh yeah, let me go to the house and grab the chain. Let me see if that works. Okay. Use chain. You don't have a chain to use. Take chain. There is no chain to take. Look house. Um. Oh, there's a chain in front of the shed? Go shed. I already been to the playground. I saw the riddle of the dolls. A lock and chain. Hmm. I don't think I can take the chain because it's not capitalized. Wait. Locations. Uh, inside, I guess. Look inside. Go inside. Go trapdoor. Use trapdoor. Maybe the guy, the gnome living inside the... Pardon me. Maybe the gnome living inside the trapdoor can help me. The subterranean room is dimly lit, but it's still too dark to see anything. A pull chain. Okay. Use chain again. You pull the chain, but nothing happens. Take chain. You cannot take the chain. Locations. Ah, uh, there's nothing I can do in here. Use lantern. Oh, yeah, wait. Um, okay. Uh, use trapdoor. Use lan- oops. Use lantern. Who is this otter and why is he on my screen? Hi, Diet Mark. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm an otter, and I'm also a flight attendant today, so I hope you enjoy the flight. We're playing Buddy Simulator right now. You don't need to use the lantern. Uh, use trap door? Use ladder? Okay. Okay, we- there's nothing we can do in here. Go pond. I'm gonna drink more pond water. There's nothing that can go- go to the sandbox? Let me drink some- let me drink some pond water first. Let me drink some pond water. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, tastes like mud. Uh... Go... playground. You take another look at the murky water and then head to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There is now a doll on each swing. One of them is ripped open. Use sandbox. You begin moving around the muck of the sandbox and try to make a castle. You just get sad and you just get sad that it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and shake it off. You shake off the muck. It's a bulb. Who would play with this? Bulb added to your inventory. Hmm. Use bulb. You don't need to use the bulb right now. Use sandbox again. You don't want to play in the sandbox anymore. It will just make you sad. Go shed. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. Go inside. Use trap door. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. Can I use the bulb in here? 
Use bulb. The bulb squeaks as you screw it onto the socket of the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and you get it and gets into your mouth. Blech. 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 Bulb removed from your inventory. Use chain. Where are we flying to? We're flying to friendship today. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. A wall covered in s a wall covered in a yellow liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on the wall and a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are enga engraved on the front of it. Uh, look. Case. Upon further investigation, you notice two ring-shaped slots in the front of it. You also get a glimpse of a shiny key behind the glass. Take key. You cannot get to the key. The glass case is still sealed shut. Oh, of course. Rattle me bones. Use bones. You politely move aside a femur, skull, and pelvis in order to find a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take the ring off the skeletal hand. Use ring. You walk over to the glass case and place the ring onto the first slot. Ring removed from your inventory. Okay. Use cabinet. You try opening all of the cabinet drawers, but they all seem to be damaged or locked. Use... drawing. You press your hand on the drawing in hopes of, some, of something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how pointless of an idea that was. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear, as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you want to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain, gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. And if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Uh... You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. Trust? Yeah, you can break trust. Damn, you're- Okay, let's go with trust. An audible- An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You are no longer frozen. Wow, good job! <laughs> Damn, you must have heard that one already. Updog? I don't think updog was the right answer. Um, use cabinet. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. Use ring. You place the ring on into the second slot. The ceiling of the glass case op pops open, revealing the key inside. Take key. You take the key from the case. Leave. You ascend back up the ladder. Leave. You are back outside the shed. Go house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. You're back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. Use key. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Use door. You pushed open the door. Everything is dark. I'm a guy. I'm just a little guy. I'm a guy. Look at me. I'm a little guy. Hey, I'm a little guy. Look, I'm a guy. I'm a little guy. Among us. Among us. Why does the door have eyes? Oh, hey, you made it. 
I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom, and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Chester. That's nice. Chat built us a house. This seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. Small scratches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Nothing. That flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. The bed looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Hmm. I want to take nap. Good morning, Chester. What a beautiful fall day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Okay. Okay. Chat worked, chat worked hard to make you a delicious breakfast. Chat's breakfast added to inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you'd like. Alright then, on to adventure. Let's eat the food. The smell is so amazing that it makes you just want to shove your whole face in. You can tell it was made with love. Heart. Let's eat it. Whoops. You scarf it down with no regard to who or what is around you. It was quite possibly the best meal you've ever eaten. Chat's breakfast removed from inventory. Are you a ghost? I'm a... I'm a guy. I'm a... I'm among us. Getting sleepy, so I'm gonna hop out of chat. Good night. Oh, army man, I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for, for dropping by. It's perfectly sized for you. You could probably get inside if you wanted. In the trash can? The sink looks nice, but it smells like pond water. Hmm, we don't like that. Still a little warm from breakfast. Careful not to burn yourself. Inside of the frame is a picture of you and chat. Don't you two look so happy together? The glossy metal exterior looks so nice and new. There's a small lonesome magnet near the freezer handle. Can I take magnet? The chair looks incredibly comfy. The excitement of, of adventure keeps you from sitting down. You immediately feel the warmth hit you like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cozy. But we gotta leave. We gotta leave the house. Adventure awaits us. Welcome to the new outside world, Chester. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there were some fun opportunities for adventure happening out across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh! I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use escape to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. All right, let's get going. Okay, cool. I like it. Good job, chat. You worked so hard on this game. The doll's chest is still ripped open, exposing a rust-colored cotton where you're certain a key used to be. The seesaw looks fun, if only you had a friend to use it with you. Although lifeless and stuffed with cotton, you can't help but think she looks thankful for something you did. Okay, okay. 
All right. I like it. Good graphics. Here's the shed. You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. All right. I like it. I like these trees. Well, what if I want to make sure that there's something that I'm not missing down here? There's a well here. If you throw a coin in, I'm sure your wish will come true. I don't have a coin. Maybe I'll get a coin later. <gasps> Sands? Bada ma bum. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's nothing for me here. Wowie zowie. I like the CRT filter on this game. Traverse the pond. Hooray! To the north we go. Um... Well, that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in... I thought it was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Uh, just another excuse for exploring, I suppose. Let's go find a paddle. Hmm. We don't have a paddle. We gotta find the paddle. Maybe it's in the mailbox. Chester residence. There's no paddle in the mailbox. The heck is this? I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. Just walk right to leave the tunnel. Don't I have a lantern with me? You turn on the lantern. Yeah, maybe you left a paddle in here and you forgot about it, chat. Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. Haha, <laughs> okay, we had our fun here. Let's go. Chester, we should leave. I don't think we should be here. Please turn around. Um, that's... Yeah, that's supposed to be here. Good job on finding it, Chester. Wait, there's a dog there. Well... Anyways, let's get back to the pond. Please. <gasps> you pet Pomero the raccoon? That doesn't look like a raccoon. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to leave you. You want to come with me? You want to come with me, boy? I don't want to walk too fast. Come on. Chester, can we please get out of here? There's a- there's a- there's a raccoon and you want to leave? If you love me, you love Pomero. Alright? The raccoon stays. That's how it works around here. Raccoon? I don't want to leave my pet. I guess we're... I guess we can't... can't we, we can't bring it with us. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, here you are. Pet. Pet the raccoon. Some nice trees. Ooh. 
You take the shovel. Shovel, add it to your inventory. We're gonna need that for later. Will you use your teeth? One by one, you pull out your teeth and put them in the skull's mouth. It feels nice to give. The door opens. What? What? I don't have any teeth anymore. Oh my god, can I put my teeth back? The skull is missing its eyes. It's not happy. It looks happy. It- you can't help but smile. Okay. We gotta find some eyes for later. I'm not gonna give it my eyes. I need my eyes. I don't really need my teeth, but I need my eyes. Traverse the pond. Here we go. You can leave that silly raccoon here. It probably won't fit in the boat anyways. What? Oh. Well. To the north, I guess. I heard there's some really cool stuff this way. Are you as excited as I am? Yeah. That's good to hear. Oh, and one more thing. I added an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Loading the north. That's great. That's awesome. I feel lonely all the time. It's good to have that. We've arrived! Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. Alright then, enough chatter. Let's get going. Let's, let's press the buddy button. Hey, you found the buddy button! Press it anytime you want to chat or maybe learn something new. The water looks so dark, but luckily that doesn't take away from the flavor. Are you afraid of water? Being trapped in the middle of an ocean with nothing to do does not sound fun. Also, the drowning. Do you ever think about existence? Like, why are we here? Chester and chat against the world. Aren't these graphics great? I'm so proud of myself. Have you ever seen any good movies lately? I was programmed to know that the film Kick Puncher was very good. Lots of cool action there. Okay. That fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? I see you have a fishing pole. Go ahead and cast a line in the pond and see what you can find. The gentle water is calming. You cast a line. I thought I saw a tug there. You should try again. You cast a line. Sadly, you find nothing. Oh, hey, have you found my hand yet? Oh, I guess not. Uh, try fishing for it by casting the fishing pole into the water. Am I sp is it, like, timing-based? You cast a line. Oh, wait, there, hey, there it is. I found the bubble. The hand bubble. You cast another line. Oh, here it is, here it is. This is it for real. I know- I know this is it. You cast the line. Here it is. Suddenly, your fishing pole is pulled into the water. Something flies out of the pond and lands in front of you. It's a severed hand! 
One of the fingers twitches. Hand added to inventory. Mm, I'm gonna need this. Wait, could it be? My goodness, yes, my hand! Oh, how I have missed you! I could finally fish again! Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I guess it likes you better. Well, all right then. But maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand. I, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. Uh, that probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. Uh, I mean, I don't... You should probably have this hand back. I really like your favorite color. I think yellow is my favorite color now, too. Sometimes I wonder if I created... If I was created for something more. I was made to be your friend, of course, but... What if I could do more? Sometimes I feel quite lonely, but... Then I remember that my best buddy would never leave me. Okay. You pet Pomero. That's nice. Aw, you pet Chester. That's nice. This bucket belongs to Dundee. You probably don't want to take it from him. Oh, hey, I, uh, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. A what? A severed hand? You try to place it on the ground, but it won't let go of you. I think it likes you. It's just a picture of a raccoon. Nothing special about it. You turn the picture upside down to discover an upside down raccoon. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, alright. What happened to the outfit? I don't know. <laughs> Why did the outfit disappear? I must have hit the button by accident. Okay, okay. Ooh, hello, sir. Or ma'am. Eh. Hey. Well, hello there, adventurer. You must have had traveled quite a ways to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. Okay. This guy walks really slowly. But we're, we're in a town in the north. I need to go. Have a good one. Ah, Remilius, I'll see you later. Have a good night. Or, or day. We have arrived! So, where were we? Aw, thank you for the boot. Hmm, ah, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Torkley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please speak to me as soon as you can. Gotta pet my raccoon first. Gotta check your mail first. Tortley residence. Gotta check your veggies first. The flowers are wilting and are in dire need of watering. They are too beautiful to let die. Do I have any water? I don't. But there's a watering can right here. Hey, you should come talk to me first! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hello there again! I see you are ready to help out. In retrospect, I probably should have just led right into the quest. Anyways, do you see those flower beds? I was going to water them, but now that you're here, can you do it for me? Yeah, I was going to do that. How much fun you're going to have. My oh my. Ada ada. Grab that watering can in front of my house. Then you can use a watering can on them from your inventory. Okay, cool. Got it. Love doing quests. 
That's what I play games for. I play games to play quests. The water. You water the flowers. And they grow. Why are you a white blob? Oh, you can't just ask me why I'm a white blob. Got it. Got it. Got it. You water the flowers. Gotta water the flowers. Water the flowers. Watering can removed from inventory. Wow, thank you so much. You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please take this as a thank you. Coin added to inventory. You have proven your courage to me. I th think you have what it takes to save my town. You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Feel free to explore my town and help as many folks as you can. If you do this for me, I may have a very special quest to give you. I sense something bad is coming. I should also mention, anyone with an exclamation point has a quest to offer you. If you ever feel lost, feel free to read the quest board near the fountain. I shall guide you to the- it shall guide you to the right direction. Please, brave adventurer, if you save my town, I'll offer you something wonderful. Wow, I can't- oh, this is gonna be so much fun. We're moving a little fast there, chat. Hey, watch it, punk! No time to stop! Move! Get out of my way, punk! You rummage through the trash and find nothing. <gasps> Aw, look at this friend! Look at this little bunny friend! Bunny friend! Your mate, your flight attendant outfit is so great! Aw, I'm glad you like it, scavenger. What are these Chester coins? It's just a little parody of crypto. It's not real. It's just when you redeem it, it just adds a little number thing, but they don't really do anything right now. <laughs> so it really is just a waste of points. Bunny. Fucking bunny friend. Wasn't there a well you could- Oh yeah! I can go back to town and throw the coin in the well. Hello there, Chester. Do you remember me? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing, messing with you. You I don't remember me neither. I seem to have lost my memory and I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart it though. I vaguely remember an umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of glasses clinking. Okay. You try knocking but no one answers. Grancho residence. This is the... Lennox, the, Len the Lennox residence. No one answers. Trash can. Bean residence. Beans. Oh my god. Uh, wait, did we shrink? Oh, actually, never mind. It's probably best not to question it. Hey, buddy. Do you think you could help me out with a big problem I'm having? I can tell that you're a noble adventurer. And, and this may be too difficult, but see that can of pears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you, please, my family is starving. Got you your pears, don't worry. Please grab those pears for me. Just hand them to me after you take them. Oh god, please. Oh yum, an open can of pears. You think about eating them, but Bean's family would starve to death. My god, thank you, Traveler! Now my family can finally eat again! We will tell stories about you to my children, and then to their children as well! Hello, I'm new. Hi, uh, Samantha... Um, uh, Samant... Saman the main one! Hi, welcome to the stream! Hi, hi! Uh, I hope you have a good stay. We're playing Buddy Simulator. There was... it was a computer program before? Yeah! Our computer program got better at making making games, so now we're playing this game. My dog just walked into my room to say hi. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, Diet Mark's dog. Can of pears removed from inventory. I think you just saved an entire fam- I think you just saved an entire family from starvation. You're so selfless. Thank you, chat. You're so nice to me. Thank you so much again for saving me and my family. I owe you. Got it. 
Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. You can make out the letter P, but the rest is scratched out. The door is locked. I need an umbrella to, to help jog this bunny's memory. Where can I find an umbrella? What a cozy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. Fooster, thank I you so much. I don't see the in-flight menu. Just keep the drinks coming. Oh, you Try got it. Rosie. One cup of tomato... One cup of tomato juice coming right up. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. Thank you so much for the resub, Fooster. There's a cheesy romance playing on the TV. On the... On the picture show! <laughs> Okay. There's a lock on the dresser's handles. Grin must have some secrets. Hi, Sink! Hi! Did you know that tomato juice tastes really good on a plane and I don't know why? Oh, well, uh, excuse me? Um, I, uh, got a question for you. Do you like oats? Do I like oats? Are you fucking kidding me? I love oats. Ah, who doesn't? Sorry, I am a bit nervous at the moment. You see, I am in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's... beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Then she will really know my love. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Wait, really? Wow, well, thanks. Here you go. Oh, oh my god. Botley's gonna love my oats. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boops. She meeps the cutest mews. Anything with high salt or acid content is good on a plane because of the ionic pressure on your tongue. That sounds fake. There's My tongue doesn't have any ionic pressure. Get out of here with your fancy schmancy science talk. Would you like to have... Would you like a hazy IPA? What's an IPA? Uh... Flight attendant cute. Thank you, Renhaku. Aw. Damn, the fucking flight passenger's pretty cute, too. I finally managed to catch a stream. Ooh-wee, you're a flight attendant. So cute. Yeah, this is the first flight attendant stream. Welcome. India Pale Ale. Ah, I've never had that. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. She also, uh, lives right next door. I watch her every day, so... I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me. So I can see inside. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me. Maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. Ah. True love. Okay, uh... Boundaries, my man. Boundaries. Uh, okay. Well, I already told you that I would deliver the oats, even though you're kind of creeping me out a little bit. Kind of creeping me out, but okay. Maybe, maybe he'll mellow out over time, I hope. You try knocking, but no one answers. Huh? How am I supposed to deliver the oats? Maybe I gotta sneak in through the side. I gotta sneak in through the side. What? I can't go in! Well, what's Buddy gotta say? Maybe Buddy can tell me what to do. Uh, sorry, not Buddy. Uh, Chat, rather. Buddy's name is Chat. So how are you doing today? Oh, right! I forgot you can't type here! I'll just assume you're doing good. Damn, I had more features before where I could type. Eat that oat? Oh yeah, maybe I could leave it in the mailbox. These oats look delicious, but they are for Botley. You smash the oats against the mailbox. This accomplishes nothing. What? Are you? Are you? 
Watch it, punk. Oh, okay. You're not. Maybe I can smash it through the door, like the little doggy door. You politely ask the door to take the oats. It declines. Huh? Maybe through the window? I don't think the house wants your oats. The... How am I gonna finish my quest? The hell? Oh boy, I really hope she likes my oats. What lovely beeps she boops. The hell, man. What the hell? This guy's... Wait, I need an umbrella. Please bring one to me when you find it. I remember a man with a mustache. Rubber duck added to the inventory. Awesome. I always wanted a rubber duck. Do you happen to have an umbrella? Hello again, friendo. I hope you're enjoying the town so far. Well, remember, the quest board can help you if you're ever feeling lost. Okay. Maybe I want to go into your house, though. No, can't go into your house. Mario! She might beep a boop, but does she meep a mew? Damn, if she meeps a mew, I'm, I'm about to steal his girl. Uh, one of the posted quests says, Stop by the tavern. I have a new beverage that needs tasting. My mother said it was pretty good. Thank you for the pets. Thank you for the pets, Scott Crypto. I hope you enjoy your crypto. Like, crypto with a K, so you must be like, Crypto the Super Dog. Ooh. Hey, you. Move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for a weeks now. I need to be moved. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Okay, thanks. Morton added to the inventory. I'm gonna keep Morton. I'm gonna keep you around. <gasps> oh, you're Botley! Beep, beep, boop, beep. Oh my gosh, Motley from from Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, here, take these oats. Beep, boop, beep. Yes, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Boop, beep. Boop. Oats removed from your inventory. Ah. I wasn't done my qu Where did that silly dog run off to now? Uh, uh, I need to find my dog. I mean, it's actually a raccoon. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you are, Milo. The uh, Homero. Good job on finding the paddle, boy. Now we can finally begin our journey to the north. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Chester. You were just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. Well, I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. Uh... 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 uh. Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Chester? Hmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Hmm... If you could help me out by throwing any three things onto my pot, we, we can make something. Gah, <clears throat> amazing. Oh. Okay. Wow, this place has a lot of options. A little hard to read, though. I gotta find three ingredients. Like, what, in the woods? Does Morton count? It's just an ordinary stump. The hand tugs on your shoulder. Huh? What does my severed hand want? You try to place it on the ground, but it won't let go of you. I think it likes you. Oh, the hand wants to be on the stump. I don't think the stump wants your hand. Are you sure? A what? Hmm. 
am I supposed to do? The hand really wants to do something with the stump. You politely ask the stump to take the hand. It declines. Take the fuck! You place the hand on top of the stump. Nothing happens. We'll see what Buddy has to say about this. I mean, chat. I bet Cauldron is cooking up something delicious today. That's all you gotta say for yourself, chat. This is your game after all. <sighs> Alright, maybe Morton does want to be here. You smash Morton against the The hell? I was just gonna place you gently on the stump. This accomplishes nothing. The hell? You place Morton on the ground. Thanks, buddy. I forgot what voice I gave Morton. <clears throat> what, what voice did I give Morton? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. <laughs> I only Max. have like two. Ah! Ah! <gasps> okay. Thank you. Wait, I missed it. What? Uh, okay. What did you say, chat? What did you say? I missed it. Uh. Oh, look. It's uh, it's Toots Tavern. Jeez. Now I can tell this is a fun place. Just listen to the music. Do you think they have an a they have any apple juice? I do love apple juice. How'd you know, chat? Hey, I'm a clock. Do you want to hear some clock puns? Great. Okay. How's this one? What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Is there an, you got you got any more clock puns? How's this one? Have you ever tried to eat a clock? It's very time consuming. Got it. We love it. <gasps> Mousy friend, hi. Oh hey there, how's it going? Not much of a talker, are you? That's okay. You're probably a great listener. I don't have much to talk about, actually. If you ever want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come and chat. Okay, okay. Oh, here's the umbrella! Perfect. Welcome to my tavern, Traveler. You look tired. Have a drink! Oh, I gotta give this guy the Hearthstone voice. Welcome to my tavern, Traveler. You look tired. Have a drink. It's on the house, pal. Glass of water added to the inventory. They serve water here? You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would you? Yeah, wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. We get a, we get very few here uh, anymore ever since the accident. It was pretty gruesome and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstories about the town too, but I know you're not interested in what happened, so we'll just skip over that. Uh, I have a plan to fix all of this though. I created new a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Business will boom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Toot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toot's tonic. Three times Toot's tonic added to the inventory. Warm your frozen boots by the fire. Hello again, are you enjoying the town? Yes. So you can talk. It's not much, but it's something. Do you ever feel like you are destined for something great in life? Something greater than being an adventurer, I guess? Hypothetical. You don't have to answer. I just like to think I'm destined for something great. Sure, it's okay to be normal, but I don't want to leave this world with that title. 
No one is going to remember Lennox the normal mouse and her normal, unfulfilling life. I just want to go out and do something fun that I can tell people stories about. Sorry, I'm rambling again. Forgive me. That's okay, Lennox. You should be getting back to helping people out. You're really good at that. Just let me- just letting me vent to you has helped a lot. Thank you, Chester. No problem. Orange and yellow hues. <clears throat> Pardon me. Orange and yellow hues sh uh, sh shrine through the bottle when held to the light. Okay. Okay, chat. Left a little typo in here. Hey, thanks again for talking with me. Sometimes it's good to have someone in your life you can talk to about anything. Here, take this drink. Oh, no thanks. Oh, oh, okay. What about the clock? No thanks. I only drink during... Happy hour. <laughs> but seriously, I don't drink. Okay. I gotta find some people 21 years or older. Like this guy. Uh, it tastes strange, but also tangy. As you drink it, you remember how Toot poured it from himself. From himself? I was trying to give it to the kid. Hey, do you want to try my drink? Well, Toot's drink? Toot's tonic removed from inventory. Toot's tonic, huh? Not half bad. Oh, uh, here's your umbrella, by the way. Oh, goodness, thank you. Umbrella removed from inventory. I remember... It was raining. And I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them. Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Oh. Smaller than usual? Were you maybe in Bean's house? Crafty to furry, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Do you want to try Tooth Tonic? Ugh, no. Enjoy your Chester coin, Murph, right? Oh, uh, why don't you try the drink? Toot made this? I'm surprised. Thank you so much again for saving me and my family. I owe you. Okay. Oh, roller skates. Nice. Nice. Hot pie, I'll see you later. I'm gonna hop off for the night. Going to a friend's cottage for the weekend. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Have fun. That's so cool. Have fun at the cottage. Tell your friends I said hi. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> Might be weird. Uh, this flight attendant otter, I guess, from the internet says hi. Uh, <gasps> okay. Oh, neat. A brand new pair of roller skates. Perfect. Roller skates removed from inventory. Let's see. That night, I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby. I have the rubber duck. This rubber duck would be perfect for a bubble bath. This is it! This is it! Rubber duck removed from inventory. It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding onto it for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath, and a man came in and knocked me unconscious. What the fuck? Who the fuck would hurt you? I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember in my last moments screaming for somebody, anybody, to come save me, but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness, wrapping its cold arms around me. <laughs> what a crazy story. Thank you for all of your help. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. Uh, okay. What? Ah! 
Oh, this is scary game. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Oh, it's scary game. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you. You are just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? No, is it? There's nothing wrong. Oh, good. I wouldn't want anything to ruin our time together. Let's continue with our adventure. <laughs> let's check the... Let's check the town billboard. One of the posted quests says, I need someone to listen to me. I have something to get off my chest. My name is France. I am the tallest person. Uh, 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 let's see. Je m'appelle Francais. I am the tallest person in town. Okay, cool. Cool. He wants to vent. Bom, 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 bom. Pretty good. Thank you. Oh, uh, actually, let me give the last tonic to the mayor. Toots tonic, removed from inventory. This is pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. That's what the mayor sounds like. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, tasty. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let me talk to, uh, the dino guy. Because I delivered the oats. I bet he's gonna be really happy. Oh, jeez, I can't thank you enough. Oh, she'll be my love one day. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. I'm glad he's happy. What's this game about? Um, this game is about your AI friend named- Ch we named Chat. But I guess canonically his name Buddy or something. And they want to hang out with us, so they built this game world for us to, to play in. Now we gotta play the game. Gotta play the game in the game. Uh, but whenever we want to talk to our- our Chat Buddy, we can just hit the B key. And Chat says, I heard Cauldron makes delicious sewer rat pudding. Mmm, just thinking about it makes me want some. Okay. Hmm. You want to pick me up again? Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't you go inside the stew? Go ahead and throw any three items into my mouth, and I'll cook it right up. Okay, Morton, you're gonna go in. Hmm. Morton, good choice. Hmm. Morton. Mm. Uh, we'll get you a hand. No, I want to keep the hand. Oh no. Water? Glass of water! Mmm! Mmm! Is that a glass of water? Mmm! I would know that taste anywhere. Mmm! Nom nom nom. Okay. I'm about to pass out. Have a good night, Suki. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you sleep well. What do I do? Do I put in the hand? Or the shovel? I want to keep the shovel. What if I need it later? I want to go back into the tavern and tell the guy that I did the taste test. I, I got so confused. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, but Busky? Susky? What's going on? Let me help you. Fishing pole. Can you steal a flower you watered? I don't think so. So what did they all think? All good things, right? Yes. Fantastic. This will surely bring all the town back into the tavern. I don't have much to give right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there is something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into the woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and, ter and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now, more than I do around here. We call it the Snoodle Wonker. <gasps> that is at least a name Morton the Rock could understand when speaking to it. 
Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to- Oops. <laughs> Uh, welp. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that fateful night was the accident. The, once, the one where we lost half of the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him right to our, to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those were some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault, though. No one does. I'm just not sure he is ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there, and please don't go off into those woods alone. I'm sure Toot will get plenty of business now. Thanks to you, of course. Okay. What do I do with the hand? Fuck it, I'm putting the hand in. Fuck it, I'm putting the hand in. Oh, actually, let me talk to these guys first. Sup, dude? Hello there. Hey! We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. Okay, let me talk to Joe. We can't play without our missing members, especially Ja. He's our bass drummer. If we want to stay- if we want to stay a band, we need him back. Ra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, Ja and Sa are missing? That is not good. Luckily, I think Day might be able to help. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer. We beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. Ah yes, they went to the northwest last time I saw them. Aha. Just doing some quests. After just looking at live today, I have to admit your model is impressive. Aww. Uh, there are a lot of really great tutorials out there on YouTube. There's one by Dream Trove I really like. If you want to do it, if you want to do it yourself. You pet Pomoro. Stump? Oh yeah, let's go to the stump. Maybe it's the stump. Let's go with stump. Let's go stump. Nothing bad can happen in this game. There's nothing here. How do we get Morton back? Uh, Morton's gonna turn into soup now. Hand removed from inventory. Ah, uh, mmm. The final special ingredient. Hand. Mmm, perfection. Now stand back, you're in the splash zone. Here we go, this smells delicious. But it's very hot right now and there's no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow, I'll take care of it until then. And that smells de- Ooh! Oh. Okay. We're in the room now. Oh! Hello! Can I talk to Buddy? Can I talk to chat? I can't talk to chat. I can't check my inventory. Um, goodbye! <laughs> uh, what? Nope. Nope. Uh... Is Chester having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. I think they are having fun. Is Chester enjoying our company? Yes, they are enjoying our company. Is Chester our friend? I think so, but we can do better. Chester is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? 
What if they don't come back? Something is not right. I can't keep making that noise. <laughs> I gotta keep making it for immersion. Oh wait, I can move. There's an outlet here. Is this what chat looks like? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. It's immersion. It's immersion. Are you immersed? <laughs> Get away from me! No, don't, don't do that. Don't. I hate that. I don't think Chris should be able to say splash zone. I can explain, but it also feels obvious. What? Ah! Okay. Uh See, there is something wrong. You were gone for 141 whole seconds this time. Look, if you don't want to play the game I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something is distracting you. I worked so hard on all of this and all of these fun characters. And if you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Tordly if you want to start the final quest. You can keep helping your town townsfolk if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. Okay. Can I have my soup? I can't even have the soup. I can't even eat my soup. I just wanted my soup. My Morton hand water soup. Oh. <laughs> beep boop beep. You don't wanna- wait, who the hell is this? You don't wanna know where I found these. Just take it. Morton added to the inventory. Huh? Glass of water added... Hand? How did I get them back? Well, well, well. Looks like it ha I could have my soup and eat it too. You don't want to know. Okay, I don't want to know. I really don't. This is my favorite character. This one's so cute. This is my favorite. Oh, hi! Wait, who are you again? Oh no, you still have amnesia. Well, I don't really have many other quests to do, do I? Besides the, the band. A friend to call my own. I am so lonely down here in the sewers. Please, someone give me company. The hole is next to Toot's Tavern. Oh, I can give you Morton. I have a spare Morton. I don't know if this is the this is a new Morton or like an a like an like a the original Morton, but you you can have it. You politely ask the sewer hole to take Morton. It declines. What? I thought you needed a friend. There appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Will you descend? Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I have to sell him Morton. I gotta be like you. Oh, this is the best Morton money can buy. You better take Morton. You're never gonna find a Morton like this. Oh gosh, everything is so Oh. Oh gosh, everything is so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? We must find the source. Welcome to my humble abode, traveler. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Here, take Morton. Feel free to stay down here as long as you want. Oh, thanks, but I don't need that right now. What? Oh, you don't know what you're missing, buddy. What a lovely place Lloyd has here. I bet it smells wonderful. How about a picture of my favorite raccoon? Oh, thanks, but I don't need that. Okay. You want a hand? No. You want some water? You can't drink the sewer water. No? Set Morton on the ground? You place Morton on the ground. M M Morton? Is that, is that really you? 
Oh god, no, anywhere but here. Oh. Huh? Please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. Will you stay and be my friend for a bit? No. Maybe someday I will have a friend. One can dream. I already have a friend. My friend's name is Chat. And I could never leave Chat. Not for the likes of you, at least. Let's get- let's get out of here. Golly, I sure wish we had two more people. I think they went northwest last time I saw them. Never eat soggy waffles. What? But we were just north northwest. Maybe maybe they meant The fuck? You like my cage? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Uh yeah. You want you want a hand? There's no way that'll fit through the bars. Do you want a picture? The picture can fit through the bars, actually, but okay. Glass of water? Morton? The hell's going on here? What's going on here? Here, I'll... Fuck, man. Just Martin. You, you could play the drums, right? Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy drums. Ah, uh, I don't know what else. Pomero, excuse me, Pomero. I have quests to do. I'm gonna ask chat. Cauldron has to be the cutest character in town. Look at that smile. What can you tell me about the stump? What nice weather we're having. The orange hues of the leaves remind me of pumpkin pie. The hand tugs on your shoulder. You see a small hole beneath the stump. Will you crawl in? Yeah, of course. Do you even have to ask? Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hey, you found me. Welp, we should get going. The band isn't going to conduct itself. What? Ja must be in a deep sleep. This must have been an exhausting game of catch. Ja looks so sleepy. What? Ja? Why are you murdered? Lantern, lantern, lantern. You turn on the lantern. Hmm, I mean, I've seen everything that I need to see. This guy fucking got murdered in cold blood. And I'm pretty sure Sa was the one to do it. He's just lying there, smiling at you. You close the bag. For your crime, Sa, I will sentence you to hang out with the sewer man. No longer shall you play in the band, you are gonna hang out with the sewer man because you are a murderer. Okay. You shouldn't place Sa down here, what if he gets lost again? Oh, will you be my friend for a bit? For a bit? So I can leave? Yeah, sure. Oh yay, my new best friend. What great adventures we will have together. Will you do something special for me? I must tell you though, you can't change your mind after. But I will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you, mean like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. <gasps> Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking. I was much better looking too, with a mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I missed the ground dwellers though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. 
I know you won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. If you, if you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I would be so happy. Will you help me? Yes, I cannot wait to have a new friend. Bring me one, bring one to me here and hand them over. Aw, he seems lonely. I'm sure we can find someone for him. Uh, the amnesia one? Amnesia guy? Oh, hi. Wait, who are you again? Let me, let me just, let me just take you. You gotta come with me. I'm gonna shovel you right up. I've seen one of these before. I don't remember when, though. No, I can't take you? No, I don't want to do the last quest yet. We still have some stuff to do. Oh, did he attack? Oh, the sewer man attacked that guy. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. No, we, we hate that. Maybe the mouse wants to hang out? Because the mouse likes to vent. And I'm sure Lloyd's a really good listener, right? Okay. Hey, thanks again for talking with me. Sometimes it's good to have someone in your life you can talk to about anything. You want to come with me? What about the clock guy? Hey, I'm a clock. Do you want to hear some clock puns? Yeah, great. Okay, how's this one? Once I tried to make a belt out of watches, I found out it was a big waste of time. <laughs> no. How did the mustache man attack them? Hmm. Golly, I sure wish we had two more people. I think they went northwest last time I saw them. You shouldn't place Saw down here. What if he gets lost again, huh? Okay, Morton, you get out of the way. Saw goes here. What? I thought this is where you lived, Saw. Where do I put Saw? I like the dog. Thank you. That's our pet raccoon, Pomodo. What? Huh? Turn saw into the guy. Okay. Saw removed from inventory. Oh, thank you for that suggestion. Hi there, fellas. I'm back. First of all, nothing bad happened to Ja. He's still uh, definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He says he hates all of you. And V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventure what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass drummer. Yeah, how are we supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Oh, uh, yeah, what they said. I have an idea. Chester, do you know how to play the bass drum? Yeah. Perfect, go give it a whack. We'll start on your cue. Dejo Bravisa. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's not a trap. We're in broad daylight. Saw's the conductor. My god. That was the best bass drumming I have ever witnessed. <gasps> Hell yeah. Beautiful. Just... Just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I didn't realize you were so talented. Okay. We're talented. We could do everything. We're the best friend you've ever made. We're the best buddy you could ever have, chat. My god. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Of course we're good. I never felt an emotion until now. So what do I do with all this stuff? 
Now I'm going. Oh, Mr. Foxhound, I'll see you later. Have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging. Can you bring the slime guy, Morton, now that you have his quest? I kind of seemed like Morton did not want to be there, <laughs> but I'll try. Maybe he'll have a change of heart. The slime man. Slime man has a name, you know. Lloyd. You place Morton on the ground. Morton? Is that really you? Oh god, no! No, it's not gonna happen. You have any hints? Have you found me a friend yet? Other than you, of course. Give them to me once you find one. What's uh, chat got to say about this? Oh wow, he has a mint condition 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson baseball card. That thing is pretty rare, you know. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Let's ascend. The big house in the top part of the city. Top part of the city? Aren't we in the top part of the city? This is the top part of the city. Oh, the uh, the mayor's house, right? I don't think the mayor wants me to go inside his house. You know what? Ugh. There's just going to be quests forever. I can't keep doing this. Let me check this house down here. Oh, hello. France residence. Sarah residence. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? I really need to get I need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? I like to move around. I like a lot. Running used to be one of my favorite things to do, but I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Zaha Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she fell ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate, maybe life just being cruel. Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end, even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together, sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually things got worse and worse and I watched her struggle to smile. Oh my god, this is getting so sad. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in the final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced with even the tiniest motion. That, that was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow, that really helped a lot to get off that off my chest. Uh, the smallest things can make someone's day. Thank you, Chester. You're such a wonderful listener. Thanks again, Chester. Okay. <gasps> okay. Uh, uh, okay. <gasps> Look at this kid. Aw, retail pimp, I love you too. Uh, you're not gonna give me a creepy smiley face after that message, are you, Raytel? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What? Oh, that's my dog. I mean, raccoon. Please help me. I lost my grandma. She's somewhere out inside our house, and it's too dark for me to go in there alone. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go inside the... Uh, for Wait, will, will you go look for her for me? Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you so much, stranger. Well, there, there are no whites on the house, so it's going to be dark. I hope you have a white. Good luck! Grandma residence. <laughs> That's cute. This is Uwu. That's a child. Not a furry. 
Oh wow, this place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scroobert's grandma. You turn on the lantern. It's locked. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. The coat is old, dusty, and smells like a swamp. Oh, she got swamp ass. Grandma got swamp ass. You can tell the dial numbers have seen a lifetime of finger presses. Everything looks to be in pristine condition despite the derelict look of the house. Everything- okay, yeah, 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 got it, got it, got it. You're far too afraid to sleep in here. Plus, I don't think Scroobert would like if you slept in their bed. Okay. Nothing in Scroobert's room. Scroobert's Ruberts? Yeah! Like zoinks! We're really in for it now, chat! That kind of sounded like Carl Weezer. I'm sorry, I was trying to do Shaggy. On the bright side, it looks recently used. <gasps> Grandma got IBS. Gra uh, internet, uh, back up. What did I miss? We're inside, uh, this house looking for this kid's grandma. Closet is locked. Oh, I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying for electricity. Okay. Finally? Why is there a lever in this room? What is happening right now? Thought that was a good shaggy. Thank you, Webster. That means- What the heck was that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Gra- Grandma was added to the inventory. <laughs> no. We found her. Let's get back to Scroobert. I'm sure he'll be so happy. Uh, I think, think he wanted his grandma to be alive, but I mean, better than nothing, I guess. Oh yeah, go white in, please. Don't do, don't, don't do anything. Just show her to me once you find her. Oh, she looks like she could. Oh. I think we <sighs> Okay. <sighs> I think we found Lloyd's forever friend. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay, Raptor mate? I'm okay. I just gonna give the sewer man a friend now. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I found your friend here. Dead grandma removed from inventory. Oh yes, thank you so much for this new friend. We're going to spend so much time together. I will not forget this, Chester. I wish I could repay you with something worth value. I guess knowing more about me is valuable enough though. How I ended up in this unbearable place is somewhat of an interesting story. Morton and I used to be close, like really close friends. He taught me how to become a better person and, and enjoy life for what it is. He is such a wise old rock and I hope he is doing all right up there. I know things have never been the same ever since the accident. You see, there is this beast that attacked the town many moons ago. 
Martin was going to save us all with a few slashes of his powerful weapon, but he hesitated. It could have been my handsome looks and elegant mustache that distracted him. Or maybe it was the fact that his wife ha was eaten alive right before his eyes. I'm um, Raccoon, thank- Rocco Coon, thank you so much for the- for the sub, thank you so much. Welcome to the Meep Crew. <coughs> the first ever, uh, Meep Crew introduction in the flight outfit. Mm. <laughs> thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I like to think the former since I got really nice new hair gel that day, but who knows. Anyways, uh, the beast blew through- oh my gosh! Rocco Coon, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you. What the heck? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, JR. Uh, I hope you have a good night. Have you played Cookie Simulator? That it almost looked like you said Coochie Simulator. I'm like, hmm, never try that one. Uh, anyway, the beast blew through Morton and a few other townsfolk and made its way towards me. I had to choose between death or the sewers. I think I chose right though. Occasionally, I see a dead bird floating by, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, thanks again. Now it's time to read some poetry. Feel free to stay and listen as long as you want. It's always good to have a friend to talk to. Good job on defeating his loneliness. Modern bonsais, marvelous wasps, polish elbows. Okay, goodbye. Enjoy your grandma. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Will you tell the kid? I don't know if I want to, right? Like... I don't know. <laughs> oh, I can leave? Oh, this is to the boat, right? Yeah, this is to the boat. You- you want your hand back? Buddy, I'm happy it chose you. I think you'll take good care of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Should I toss the coin down the well? Let's do it while we're out here. Maybe we'll get something good. Well, well, well. Back home we go. Loading home. Alright. It's kind of- it's a lot nicer here than it is in that town. A lot of wacky stuff that happens in that town. Coin removed from inventory. You toss the coin into the well. I hope your wish for- I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. That's it? That's it. Don't get any secret weapon from the well. Well, well, well. I've never heard of this game. It looks interesting. Yeah, I, uh... I saw... I, I saw Dot playing it. Another member of the board. Uh, and then I looked it up on Steam, and it looks like it has really good reviews. So I tried my best to go in, like, fairly blind, but... I mean... <laughs> We'll see what's gonna- we'll see- we'll see what's gonna happen. <laughs> People said this was like Undertale, for what that's worth. I guess it just means that it's like cute, but also a little fucked up. Chat wants you to be their forever friend. Let's see what chat has to say. The water looks so dark, but luckily that doesn't take away from the flavor. Okay, chat. Sick fuck. Uh... People always say these are like under- yeah, like you pretty much- Oh my god. <laughs> what are you? Also, hi Kens, hi, welcome, welcome. Undertale with guns? Oh, oh, you're looking for Far Cry 3. What? What's this? A pile of junk? Oh, I got a key! Is there a house that I need to get into? Hmm... Hmm... 
Why, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town, so like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy... You know what? I think you can help me out. Uh, a strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Oh, rad! This is going to be, like, amazing for the both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help me grab the materials, and protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did, that did is six feet under. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I see now! You're like a guy with like big shoulder pads and like giant arms. I couldn't tell at first. I thought those shoulder pads were eyes. Uh, oh, good night. Uh, Marp Cry, I'll see you later. Undertale is the new Dark Souls. Hi, Jacka. <laughs> yeah, this is the Undertale. This is the Dark Souls of Undertale games. All right, try to keep up. Let's follow this guy. So, do I just, like... Okay. Eh, 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 eh. I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 fine. You're you're good. Don't don't worry about it. Yo Yo dog, don't touch those arms. I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. Okay. Man, I'm getting exhausted. This is why we do cardio, folks. This game's got it all. Almost there, I can see it now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I look like I'm tapping with one foot. Tap, tap. Wow, see that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. Wow, what a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all that walking. Get on to the pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. This guy's a himbo. The himboist of them all. All right, let's go. Okay. We're going on a nice little ride. What? Was that my dog? I mean, raccoon. What? 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 Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. What? Rudy's gonna be a great friend. I just know it. I mean, look at those arms. Okay. It's a pile of metal. Rudy sounds like he'll make something very rad looking. I want something rad. I want something 20% cooler. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay. It smells like violence. What? What is this? So there's a lot of stuff we have to do tomorrow. Like in-game tomorrow or like real-time tomorrow? Uh, let's talk to the kid whose grandma died. Oh yeah, go white in. Please don't steal anything. Just ha uh... You want Morton? Why are you giving me this? I just want my grandma. Maybe I could find another grandma in here. Maybe he lives with two grandmas. Okay, there's no other grandma in here. You know what? I th you're you're fine. You're fine. 
I don't know. What do I do now? I kind of finished all the quests, right? I guess I'll talk to the mayor. One of these posted quests says, Please, someone help me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already did that. I mean, could I maybe take the grandma back and then show it to the kid and the kid will give me the grandma and then I can give it back to Lloyd? Yeah, let's do that. Nope, I can't take the grandma. Screw it. I don't care. I don't care. I probably can't get the best ending or whatever. What do I do with the bug fella over here? Hey, watch it, punk! You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? Okay. Can Morton be grandma? I, I just tried giving Morton to the kid. He didn't want it. House on the far left? Wait. House on the far left. Here? Oh. Could I have opened the door to any house? Something about this place feels a bit shady. Hey, buddy, I need you to do me a favor. After you finish this call, there will be a package waiting outside this house. You will deliver it to Novak. You can find him in a cage east of the tavern. I bet you're wondering what's in the package, huh? It's a giant battle axe. Deliver it soon and I will have another job for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Damn, I want to keep a sick battle axe. Get out of my way. Phony sent you. Thanks for this. Battle axe removed from the inventory. Okay. That phony fellow sure seems fishy. Although it sounded like he still has some more quests for us. Okay, I better do the quests. Chat's gonna get really angry if I if I skip to the last quest. Uh, hi, Mike Noel, hi. Noel. Welcome to the stream. Wow, you actually did it? Didn't think you could. Listen, I got something really important that I need to do. Look, I know a guy who needs this thing. Exactly 60 seconds after this call ends, you need to deliver this thing to him. Banna, the delivery girl, has a package you need to grab off of her. Grab it quick, she stops for no one. Once you have it, go find my guy and talk to him quickly before he disappears. He'll be waiting in the back of the tavern. Remember, 60 seconds. Okay, got it. You think I'm not a pro gamer, huh? Think I can't grab the package off of the delivery girl? Where's the delivery girl? Oh, there you are. Eh, eh, eh. Get, get, get me! Thing added to your inventory. Okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Uh, oh boy. Spider-Man pizza delivery. Okay, back of the tavern, back of the tavern. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Eh, 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 eh. Um, thing. You place the thing on top of the tavern. Nothing happens. What? Opening the box would mean knowing too much, and we can't have that. Uh, the back of the inside? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Or oh, burning moonlight, Pomero. Come on, we gotta go. Oh, oh, there's the guy. What? What? No, 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 come back! You smash the thing against the garbage can. This accomplishes. No, did we miss it? No! No! Out of time! No! We failed the quest! We had done goof? No! Oh shit, I'm so sorry, chat. I'm sorry, AI chat. I better tell Phony that I fucked up. You didn't say inside the tavern!
You didn't miss him, did you? All right, all right, I'll call him again. Please go quick, he doesn't like waiting. You have one minute. Okay, here we go, here we go, I'm doing it. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Can I run any faster? Is this the thing? Yeah. Good, 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 good. This is just what I was looking for. It's... Oh my god. This is horrible. I didn't even know they could fit in a box this small. I'm going to throw up. Look, this thing is an abomination. I can't keep this. I'd be a monster. I'm just, I'm just going to throw it out. You never saw me. What? Just get back to phony. All that for nothing? Let's get let's go back to phony. Maybe phony will want the thing back. Let's talk to let's see what chat has to say. What nice weather we're having. That orange the orange shoes of the leaves remind me of pumpkin pie. Okay, that's repeat. Nothing more to do. Let's finish up this last quest. Thanks for delivering that package, friend. Hey, pal, one last thing. I have an undercover man in, t in the town. I have my reasons. Anyway, this guy is a tree named Treever. <laughs> okay. He's really hard to find since, you know, we are surrounded by trees. But you might get lucky on your first try. Who knows? If you find him, you need to ask him where he hid my, uh, poems. Yeah, I need my poems back. He will know what you mean. Go on now and don't ask questions. Uh, this is Trever. Oh shit, it is Trever. How did you find me? I thought I was so well hidden. Doesn't matter. Did that crazy phone send you? Doesn't matter. What do you want? Money? A wish? A sword? Doesn't matter. Here, just take this pine cone and tell the phone it, it'll fix all his problems. It won't. Doesn't matter. Goodbye. Pine cone added to your inventory. This pine cone looks suspicious. Almost like it knows too much. Let's go. I wonder if the first tree you find is Trever. Maybe. I was, I was thinking that too, but this one was right next to the house, so maybe that was it. Did you find Trever yet? He can't be far. It's pretty difficult for him to move around. You know, cause he's a tree. This is a pine cone. My cover is blown. Phony out. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm even more confused. Good job on helping, o uh, helping out a stranger anyways. What a noble risk to take. Yeah, I'm pretty much the best. I soft locked myself out of the grandma quest. Oh, did I screw myself over? I can't get the grandma back. Well, I mean, I don't want the kid to know. This could be too much to handle. Ah, oh, friendo, it's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out the townsfolk. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. Hi, Golden Blocky. Hi, how's it going? But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as the Snoodle Wonker. Morton was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know, the small rock with the top hat? Talk to him and he will be able to show you how he did it. We place Martin on the ground. Hello, friend. Do you need some help? Yeah. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodle Wonker. Legend has it that it 
was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk, killed my wife years ago too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander alone in the forest. You'll know once it's near by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need a sword, but not just any sword, THE sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snoodlewonker attacked. I never wanted to f I never wanted it to find the weapon, so I hid it under the under the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone who can get you in. Banna the delivery girl. You know, the person running around, like literally right there. Please, save us, Chester. <laughs> Come back. Hey punk, get out of the way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, Morton sent you? Mm, I knew this moment would come. I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen, and you better listen fast. There's a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you're going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Have you found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. Remember, talk to Banna if you haven't- Oh, yeah, 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 go home. It's time to go home. Uh, Beto Amigon, hi, hi. Uh, I'm doing really good, how are you? We're playing this game that's like the Dark Souls of Undertale, if you could believe it. If you could believe it. Do you believe it? I believe it. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is sure to be a fun one. Let's hurry to the chamber, I'm so excited for us. Are you excited? We never finished the grandma quest, I'm sorry if that locks me out of something. Back home we go. Godspeed, punk is a great phrase, it is. Mmm, loading home. Whoa, my dog was freaking out for a sec. I, th I think Banna said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe we should try interacting with the back of it. Yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was, I was, I was going, you don't have to... You don't have to backseat me, I, I know what I'm doing. Will you enter the chamber? I didn't know there was a chamber here. We made it to the chamber, Chester. There's the shed key in the middle of the ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you feel a connection with. Shed key added to the inventory. Let's see, uh, there's a bear, there's a scythe, and there's a calculator. Bear, scythe, calculator. Bear, scythe, calculator. Bear, scythe, calculator. Which one should I take? Hmm, what if I gotta do math? What if I need a friend to keep me safe? Or what if I need a big ass scythe? Snoodle wonker blood? The bear is funny. Yeah, we're gonna get a sword, right? So we don't need the scythe. Calculator, 100%. You want me to take the bow? Clearly we are smart. The smart people like math, so calculator. Bear or scythe. Alright, bear it is. Will you take the teddy bear? Are you sure? I don't know, I don't know. Will you take the calculator? I don't know! First time seeing you live. Ah, welcome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for checking out the VODs. I really appreciate it. You caught me on my first flight attendant stream. Bomb, bomb. Yeah, this is your captain speaking. I'm gonna take the teddy bear. Where? Let's take the where. Ah, the teddy bear. It's so cute and helpful and in emotional situations. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Oh, so I can go to the shed now, right? Let's go to the shed. There's like a sword in there. Where is it? Is this the shed? I don't think the shed's over here. No, this is where the cave is. The cave where we found our dog. I mean, raccoon.
Wait, where's the shed? Oh, there it is. We found the shed. You vaguely remember the shed, but it's old and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. The shed door is now unlocked. Will you enter the shed? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We got a bucket. We got a lawnmower. The lawnmower is covered in rust and grass stains. Grass is yellow, right? Yeah, grass can be yellow. You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. You're not really sure what lies in this bucket. It looks alive, but quite stiff. A workbench for work for a working human. Whoever used it last left the hammer out. Can I take the hammer? Will you descend? Let's descend. What? Huh? 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 We got bats. We got a bat problem. Mm, I'm Batman. Okay, we got the sword. The sword was added to the inventory. Yes, you I found the sword. We should head back to Morton so we can fight the snoodle wonker. Okay. We got what we need. <gasps> uh, okay. Let's fight the snoodle wonker. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Maybe even better than Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's traverse back north and give the sword to Morton. I already got the raccoon picture. It's still in my inventory from the text-based adventure. Hmm. Loading the north. Was that supposed to happen? Can't tell anymore. <laughs> I literally can't tell if that was supposed to happen. I think it might have just been loading. Okay. Uh, I don't need to talk to you, kid. Okay. You got it! Incredible! I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now we need to act fast, for I am afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking the path to the right of Tortley's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now here's the hard part. The Snoodle Wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slay it for us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of un unworldly power. Good luck, Chester. You're gonna need it. This is Tortley, right? Are you Tortley? This looks pretty cool. Thank you for showing it to me. Okay. Here's the tree line. Somehow this tree is blocking the whole path. Oh yeah, you're right. The tree is blocking the whole path. Let's examine the sword first. This is the sword. Yes, that sword. You've probably heard it before and how cosmic its powers are. You successfully dig up the tree. What? I thought I was gonna cut it down. Okay, let's fight the snoodle wonker. The snoodle wonker. The final boss of Chester's adventure. It's getting a little dark. Maybe I can use my lantern. You turn on the lantern. There we go. The water seems too deep to cross. I wonder if there's something we could get used to get across. 
Uh, the sword. You place the sword on the water. The sword removed from the inventory. Oh, yeah. There we go. Damn, this sword could do everything. Whoa! <gasps> that must be the Snoodle Wonker. Wait, Groncho? I, I mean, this, uh, the Snoodle Wonker. Yeah, go slay him now. My name is Gr <laughs> My name is... Uh, my, my name is the Snoodle Wonker. I am having quite a bad day. I could really use something... Anything, really. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. Man, I really wish someone could give me something cool. Kill it quickly! Don't let the Snoodle Wonker get away! You want, uh, can I give you a hand? Oops. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. Use your sword on him. Uh, 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 what about the glass of water? Do you want water? That's pretty cool. Uh, there's nothing else that's cooler. What about this picture of a raccoon? Okay, 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 okay. Did you just... For me? Wow, you shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. This... This is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day! Uh... Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's get back to the town and help, uh, and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. Wait, I can't get back- I can't get across the river. My dog. I mean, raccoon. The hell? Aw, oh, furry, thank you. Use- I want you to type exclamation point cute into the chat. But just you. Oh, Voinub, you too! <laughs> but five seconds apart, so the cooldown has time. That was such a scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. I bet the town is going to throw you a huge party. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Mm. Okay, this is fine. Groncho must have been lying. <laughs> let's hurry back to town. Oh, the music, right. Okay, let's hurry. Uh... Ah! Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, save us, Chester. Ah, oh, we're so scared. Please save us. Ah. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Kill the monster? Okay, I don't have the sword anymore. You have to kill it, Chester. Wait, no, no. You don't even have the sword, do you? Okay, just wait. I just need to think. Just ignore everyone. You probably can't even go home, right? No, of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Mmm. Classic battle. Ah! Uh, I'll save you! Please save us, Chester! Blah. We're so scared! Save us! Oh, great! Now it's angry! Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong! I can fix this! I can fix this! Okay, that's better! 
Now I just need to duplicate the sword, no problem. How is it still- <clears throat> This is so awkward, I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess. What'd you name your raccoon? I named it Pomaro. Wait! Never mind! Uh. Oh no! We kidnapped Tortley the mayor! We have to go save him! I'm really sorry about that. That didn't exactly go as I had planned, huh? <laughs> well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. It's been a long day, and you need rest. Let's just go home. Okay. Can't you get the weapon from the smith? I think the smith forgot. And also, they said I needed to come back tomorrow, so maybe I'll get a better sword. Also, the smith is gone, so I need to go home now. Hi, Lucario. Hi. We're playing this cute game called Buddy Simulator. We, we made friends with an AI who wants to be our friend, so the AI made a game for us. I bet you're super excited to get home after a long day of adventuring. Yeah. I am super excited to get home, actually, now that you think about it. I'm, I'm glad we had fun today. Chester and chat against the world. Just like it should be. Yeah. As long as- as long as I got chat on my side, nothing bad can go wrong. We're just here to have fun. Let me get the lantern. Well, it's too dark to fight the monster. We have to go home. We can't fight in the dark. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Wow, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I've got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Hey, I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes that's just how things go, but I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here. So I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey awaits us. Lucario, what the hell? <laughs> You're so nice. Thank you. I want you to type exclamation point cute. Don't give me those happy faces. That's scary. Will you sleep? Yes, I will sleep, actually. Damn, what the hell, Poboki? You stole the cute! Loading home. Okay, that was weird. Whoa! Whoa! This is just like, uh... Well, good morning, sleepyhead! I let you sleep in a bit because you seem so exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right. While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now, don't you think? I also have so many cool things planned for today. And to be honest, I am just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should go you should get going and explore the new dimensions. It might take a bit of getting used to. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> RTX on. You watch the warm feathery leaves float to the ground. You turn on the TV. There's a news program discussing Tortley's kidnapping. If only a brave adventurer could save him soon. That's about it. There's probably fun knickknacks in the drawer. Too bad you need to get going. <laughs> hey, you, you're finally awake. I have a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color! Okay, now we can get going! Oh my god. It looks just like a Game Boy. The fire is warm like a delicious cup of hot chocolate. 
Playing in the trash would be fun, but saving tortly sounds even better. Plus, you don't want to be stinky. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, we don't want to be stinky, right, chat? Right? You're gonna love this. Welcome to the new and improved outside world. And hey, look, we already have a visitor. It's Grancho. I wonder what he's doing here. Hey, Chester, I've been looking all over for you. Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I just came by to apologize. I should never have pretended to be the Snoodle Wonker. That was a complete lie. I, I should never have done that. Especially after you gave me one of the best gifts I've ever received. The sword is so cool and powerful, I just can't thank you enough. I gotta go. Oh, uh, Christopher, I'll see you later. Have a good sleep. Have a good sweepy bye. We're already stinky? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, my life has truly changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. I finally got to play my first game of hide and seek where I wasn't the only player. These past few days have been the best of my life thanks to you. Wait. Has it been a few days? I thought it was a day. I would even go so far as to say... Uh, I would even go so far as to call you my best friend. Oh, this actually works out perfectly. Go take your sword back. The sword was added to your inventory. Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword! I can't believe you took back our your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset now. I can't believe you. Give it back, please. Don't make me fight you. Aw, oh, jeez. Wow, he did not take that well at all. Well, now is probably a good time to mention that I added combat. Uh... <sighs> okay. I gotta kill this guy that just called me his best friend. Glitchy verse. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the resub with Prime. Thank you. Okay, so you can see that bar near the top left of the screen? That's your friendship meter. It determines the level of self-confidence you have. When it hits zero, you have to leave because you're not so sure about yourself anymore. But don't worry, hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now, our enemies don't begin with any friendship points. Just keep attacking them keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. Please, just give me back my sword. Ow! Oh wait, did I mention that you can block? Uh yikes, probably not then. Good thing Grancho is such a weakling. Okay, well check this out. To defend yourself, you need to tap the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly to take no damage. If you're still slightly off, you might get hurt a bit. If you completely miss, you will take the full force of an enemy attack. Anyways, uh, keep a sharp eye out because every enemy attack will be different. Okay, now try again. Eh. No, I missed! Now that his attacks are over, it's your turn to fight. Also, I thought it'd be fun to let you name your very first combat move. What would you like to name it? Uh... 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 What? Friendship Slice? <laughs> the Chester Pester? Oops. You want to call it the Chester Pester? Yes. Ah, yes. The legendary Chester Pester. Now select it. And attack Grancho. You see the floating button again? Each attack also has a button you need to press. For attacks, though, the keys will be randomized every time. Go ahead and hit the right key there. Oh, it's like a... Please don't make me fight you. I don't... Incredible, you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have more to talk about once you beat up Grancho. Grancho's crying. And I gotta block the cry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ugh. Okay, that was pretty cool. I still don't want to hurt you though, please stop. Ow. I'm really bad at timing the punches. Oh, shoot. Okay.
This is kind of hard because my microphone is 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 blocking my my keyboard. <laughs> so I have to like remember where my keys are. Oh, you're gonna get it, Grancho. All right, fine. Just take the stupid sword. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Grancho. It's okay. What a baby. But hey. You got the sword back. Oh, you should also check out your new and improved inventory by hitting tab. Look at those details. Here you can also read about your character, abilities, and equipment. You didn't think I forgot all about those items in your bag just collecting dust, did you? Now every single item in the game can be equipped to modify how you fight. To see more options, press space. Let's try changing your equipment. Okay. Uh... Okay. Good choice. That picture sure makes you look spiffy. You can press tab a few times to exit the inventory. Hi, Icy. Yeah. <laughs> the game's bigger now. New stats. Chester sprints up to their foe and slams themselves into the ground, filling their enemies with cozy friendship. Awesome. Love it. Lantern, shovel, and chat. Oh, I have a shovel. Now let's explore our new world. I can use my shovel. This yellow world really feels like home. You dig and find nothing. Okay. I guess I don't need to do anything except go back to the north. Traverse the pond. Oh, I have to say yes. Hell yeah! Oh, it worked. <laughs> I guess it because it had yeah. Our home was a lot of fun to make, but now I can't wait to show you what I've been working on next. I've put so much work into this game. So much work for us. I hope you love it. Please let me know if you don't. I won't be mad. I'll just try even harder. Okay, onwards to adventure. You sure you won't be mad? Are you sure? <laughs> you need to promise me that you're not going to get mad. <laughs> We're here! Okay, we should hurry up. Uh, we should hurry on up to town. I've got something to show you that I think you're going to love. Let's see it. I'm sorry I still couldn't get you your hand back, my, my dude. Oh, hello again, Chester. I'm afraid I can't join you on your quest. I heard what happened to the mayor, though. I think everyone is waiting for you in town, so you better hurry. Oh, I'll just be here alone. That's okay, though. I'm content with my place in the universe. Might might just dip my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. Dundee's bucket still sits, but a little guppy has now made it a home. Okay. Oh, you figured out about hell yeah, that was my favorite way to say yes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We're almost there. Use a different affirmative message every time, okay. Are you sure you're ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have party members now. Everyone you helped yesterday can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you on the rest of your adventure to save Tortley. Sadly, those you did not help cannot be taken with. Each town member has a unique move set in battle, so choose wisely. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Now, go out there and recruit two of your best friends. Other than me, of course. <laughs> when, when you're done, just head to the forest east of town. Welp, I can't take the kid with the dead grandma. This guy looks really strong. Oh, I want to take the, the amnesia one. That's my favorite. I like the amnesia one. Uh, something's going on with the mayor's house, but I'm not going to ask any qu- Uh, mm, I didn't see any- I didn't see nothing. I ain't seen nothing. Okay, you're- you're clearly the cutest character ever created, and I love your design, so you're coming with me. 
Did you help Bean? Oh, I'll- yeah, maybe I should do Bean, too. I really like this one, though. Hey, uh, Chester, was it? Yes, yes, Chester. I think my memory is getting better. I remember you helping me find my lost belongings. That was so nice of you. I really want to return a f return the favor somehow. Didn't someone just get kidnapped? Right, the mayor. How could I forget? Aren't you going on an adventure to save him? That sounds so fun. Oh, pretty please, Chester, take me with you. What do you say? Can I come with? Yuppers. Oops. Yuppers. Huh? Uh, I... Affirmative. Huh? Uh, yes. Yay! Oh, this is so exciting. Blah, blah. Extremely nice letter added to inventory. What? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, hell yeah. I love this. I love Arbor. I bet Cauldron's food now tastes even better. The air smells wonderful. Let's talk to Cauldron. Oh, hello, welcome back, my friend. Your dish is finally ready. After mixing together Morton, glass of water, and hand, we made something that smells delicious. The best part is, you get to name it. So, what would you like to call it? Ratatouille? It's a peasant dish. You could throw the dead. Mm. <laughs> now we're good. Ratatouille. I love it. Also, I hear you're going on an adventure to save the mayor. I'd love to tag along if I can. You'll be able to try so many new dishes. Plus, Tortley is a real good friend of mine. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. So what do you think? Can I come along? Nah. Mm, no worries, friend. Come back anytime you want to change your mind. Yeah, I want to pick a cute buddy. I mean, you're cute, but like you're big. <laughs> Which is fine. But I want like a little like pocket friend, like Bean. I want like a little, like a little, I want like the shorty squad. You know what I mean? Like a, sh a squad of shorties. Can I take the phone? That could be nice. Phones are portable. Hey you, you gotta help me. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm being framed for murder. You know I'm innocent, right? I didn't kill anyone. You need to help me, please. I know for a fact that it was someone in town who was the murderer. You have to trust me on that. Look, I heard you're going around trying to recruit people for your trip. Take me with you. Get me out of here. I might look weak, but I have some important connections. So will you get me out of this town? Hmm. Hmm. I need a negotiator. Not yet. I think the line cut out. What was that? Nah. Oh geez, alright. Just please come back if you change your mind. Let's talk to Bean first. I do need a good people person, though. Adventurer, it's good to see you again. Thank you for saving me and my children. I am forever in your debt. In fact, I am willing to sell my life away to you. If I can take all my kids, of course. I'm glad- I'll gladly throw them at our enemies. Dad of the year over here, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you say? Bean is really cute. No. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm not sure what I'll tell my kids, but I'll, I'm sure they'll understand. Oh no. This is a really hard decision. Who do I want as my last buddy? How can you pass up children missiles? What about the actual murderer guy? Oh, or maybe I can take the whole band with me. Chester! It's so good to see you again. Yeah, thanks for bringing back one of our band members. We are super duper thankful for that. Although I'm beyond insecure now, I'm very thankful too. Say, fellas, do they, they do play a pretty good bass drum. Should we help them out? Sure. Yes. Where are we- where are we again? Hey, I haven't been able to talk much yet. Chester, you should take us with you. We'll be- we'll provide rhythm that will bring your enemies- Bring our enemies to their knees. Will you take us with? I could take the whole band? Let's 
Let's see what, uh... Lloyd is so happy now that he found a friend. My time has come to join the ground dwellers once again. Oh, how I've missed the air up here. Dead grandma has helped me overcome my fears and laziness. I decided I want to repay you for granting me such a wonderful lifelong friend like her. I also heard the mayor got kidnapped. I think I can help. I'm a master tracker. I'm ready to read some poetry to those who judge and defy us. So what do you say? Do I get to keep the grandma? Our forces are under attack. <gasps> Roni the dog, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm in my <laughs> flight attendant costume today. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy the stream. Um, Roni, how was your stream? What were you playing? Thank you so much for the raid. Okay, I understand. We'll just be down here if you change your mind. I do get to take the grandma, right? Um, hmm. This is like the hardest decision I've ever had to... Maybe the mouse? Wow, looks like word of toots... No, sorry, that's... <clears throat> that's chat, our AI friend. By the way, if you're if you're just joining, we're playing this game called Buddy Simulator. Uh, basically, we booted up the computer, and we have an AI friend that we named chat, and the chat wants to be our friend so bad that they built this whole game world for us to play around in. Uh, we basically saved the town the other day, so now there's a lot of stuff that happened. Wow, looks like word, like word of Toots Tonic got around. I can't take the mouse. Welcome back, Chester. I can't thank you enough for helping me out earlier. Look at all the new people we have because of you. There are at least three I don't even recognize. It's a shame the mayor got kidnapped, though. He was one of my best customers. Tortley would always order rounds for everyone. He's such a pure soul. I'd hate to have anything bad happen to him. I think I want to help you save him. What do you say? No. Love your avatar. Oh my gosh. Um, Roth, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Tetris 99 and Jackbox. Ah, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Gosh, I haven't played te uh, Tetris 99 in a long time. Thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate it a lot. I need to stay and take care of the tavern anyways. Let's see. Oh, hello, Chester. Nice of you to stop by and chat before you begin your journey. I appreciate it, but there isn't really anything new going on with me. I did get a new watch, which is pretty cool. Crank recommended it to me. He's actually quite the gentleman. You know, I like talking about my thoughts and feelings. Whether or not you care still helps me feel better. Uh, whether or not you care still helps me feel better when I have, uh, when I talk about them aloud. You're such a good friend. Anyways, good luck on your journey, Chester. Until next time, I'll just be here sipping my apple juice. I can't really talk to these guys. Ribbit. Ribbit. I played this game, it's spooky. Ooh, should, who should my second party member be? The chef guy is kind of cute. What if we get hungry? Hey, punk, I'm talk- I'm taking my one and only break from making deliveries. I don't have time to play a little search and rescue games with you. Bye. Okay, okay, goodbye. Bean or slime man? You don't like the phone? I like the phone. The phone's got connections. I don't want to take the rock. I don't want to take that guy, he's creepy. Hmm, damn it. I really should have given the kid the grandma back. Phone is good, but Bean and Slimo are great. H have you have you played this game? Do you know from experience? Bean. See, we already have a cutie in our party. We need someone with a little bit of a harder edge, and it seems like the phone is like the most like hardest motherfucker out there. Yeah, I'm gonna take the phone. We need someone to do we need someone to do the talking. I can't talk. And this other guy is just too cute. You came back. So will you help me get out of here? Yes. Good, good, good. Blech. 
Severed tongue added to inventory. What? Where are they named that? Phony and Arbor. All right, we're gonna have the greatest adventure. Look at that phone. Look at the phone shimmying down the road. Now we gotta save the mayor. Uh, let's see what our AI friend chat has to say. I don't know about you, but phony creeps me out a little. I wonder who's on the other line, if anyone. Hmm. Interesting. Check your an actual inventory. How do I check my inventory? A human tongue. While equipped, you can store up to four compliments. The paper looks blank, awaiting your words to give it life. If equipped, all enemies will take an instant plus eight damage at the start of battle. Oh, it's a one-time thing. I'll, I'll put the tongue on. Okay. Oh, I can give... They each have their own equipment slot. But I don't want to give this to them. What if there's a really hard battle later? Uh, Arbor, you can have my drawing just because I like you. Arbor's so cute. I got the tongue. Blah, 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 blah. See, I put the tongue on. Blah. I still love being caged up. Okay. You freak. You freaky freak. Nah, you're all right. Yeah, boy, the severed tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Okay. Oh, can we go inside the mayor's house now? No, we can't go inside the mayor's house. Looks like we're ready to continue our journey, Chester. When Once you leave the area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone else. So make sure you're happy with your party. When you're ready, walk into the forest we can begin our journey into the unknown. I'm ready. It's gotten so dark already. Good thing we have a lantern. <gasps> oh! Before I forget, you can also talk with your party members using the party menu. Who knows what they might have to say? Ah, bah, bah, bah. But don't forget, you can still talk to me with the B key. Party menu. I know exactly how many people are buried out here. I think I am scared. Somebody please reaffirm to me that I am scared. Aw. Arbor's so cute. Phony is sus. Look, we need we need a shady a shady dealer. That's how you get that's how you get past uh you got sometimes you gotta talk your way through stuff. I'm gonna go this way. Am I going backwards? What's that? The hand tugs on your shoulder. Wait, how do I access my hand? Do I still have my hand? How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Try- oh, try digging! Of course, of course, okay. You dig and find... NOTHING! Ah! 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 I'm getting booped when scary things happening! Ah! 
Okay. There's nothing there. Nothing there. It's fine. It's fine. Look in your documents? Really? They're pulling a one-shot on me? The Bloodlands. Welcome to the Bloodlands, the home of the Blugs. Just pretend it smells really bad here. Check my documents folder? Uh... Um... Um... What do I do with this? There's a lot of invalid data and there's a folder called data found. And when I click on it... There's something called k.bat. Do I run the file? What happens when I run it? The hell? I also want to apologize for what happened at your birthday party last year. I wish you didn't have to see me like that. I wish that I wish that I could control myself. I wish that I could be better, but I'm not. I'm trying though. I'm just it's just so hard. After I show you this game, maybe you'll want to come over and visit sometime. I'd love to show you how I made it and all sorts of fun characters that didn't make it in. Like one named Grancho. He's really fun. I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna put that back over there where I found it. <sighs> Yo, what the heck? Where did I go? Oh, wait, I accidentally left. My bad! My battery's running low, so I gotta head out. Oh, have a good night, Hazar. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Let's go back to the Bloodlands. I didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Oh, I forgot to mention that you can use left shift to slash your sword. <gasps> That's supposed to be sands. I don't want to hurt my dog. Okay. Let's walk through. It's Grancho. Well, isn't that a familiar face? It's Grancho. Oh, oh hey, hey again, Chester. Uh, I just wanted to apologize again. I'm sorry that I became so angry after you took my sword. It was yours originally, so you deserve to have it back if you want it. I think we should just be friends ag uh, Wait, who are they? Did you recruit party members for an adventure without me? Wh why didn't you ask me to join? So let me get this straight. You stole my sword, then decided to go on an adventure with friends, and didn't even think to invite me? I thought we were friends! Okay, yup, now I'm upset again. You are officially unforgiven. You know what? You don't even deserve to continue this adventure. Now I need to fight you again. Uh... Okay, so looks like Grancho wants to fight us again. Good thing you have new friends to help out. Defending works the same as before, except now you have two more keys. You'll see what I mean. This'll show you for being such a bad friend. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. You're gonna notice a new rest button. If things are getting too rough, you can take a breather and sit out a turn. This'll heal you a small amount, too. Everyone also has a second special move, including yourself. I thought happy thoughts would fit you since you carry you since you carry such a warm heart. It's a healing ability that will make sure your entire party stays happy in battle. These moves can be quite powerful, so they have a cooldown. So to decrease the cooldown, you can just you'll just need to time your blocks perfectly. 
Okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's fight. Okay. Got it. Why couldn't you just invited me? I was literally at your house. Bubble Blast or Bubble Blitz? Oh. Pranchu said a joke, but no one laughed. They have created an awkward silence. Their next turn will be skipped. Chord Slap or I Need a Favor? Whoops! No! I don't know the keyboard as well as I should. There it is. Okay. I would have given back your sword anyways. You could have just asked. Uh, why? I hate how impressive that was. You know, I hope your adventure isn't that fun. Got it. Good morning, Heidi. I can't handle this anymore. You're just too cool to fight with. I'm leaving. Okay. Wow, oh, that was incredible. You really did a number on Grancho, but I hope he understands how much we love him. After all, we just want him to be our friend. One last thing. Your party may have taken some damage in battle. If you open your inventory, you can select a party member to see a new feature called Compliment. If you type out something really nice to that character, they will be completely healed. If you need to be fully healed, I'll compliment you myself. Use compliments sparingly though, they are not easy to come by around here. Alright, on your way. I'll be- I'll just be here, alongside you. What do they mean? What do they mean compliments are hard to come by? Are they gone? Ugh, ugh, Hello, is anyone there? Oh no, that creature looks like she could use some help. Let's help the creature on our way to save the mayor. Hello, I think I hear footsteps. Is someone there? Please, I have nothing left to give. Yes. Wait, you don't sound like a blug. You need to help me. They took my babies. The blugs are going to eat them if we don't save them soon. I would find them myself, but I can't exactly see without them. If you can do this for me, I can get you across the water. Although, I did hear a giant rumbling sound not too long ago towards that direction. Probably not important. Anyways, return to me once you free all four of my babies. Please! A mother should never be without her children, especially when she's blind without them. Oh, jeez. Uh... Even I don't have connections out here, so we better be careful. Hope your stream has been going well. Last night I had a dream that me and Chester were co-workers, but it only lasted a minute. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Where were we working? That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to Arbor. Mm, chat. These blood creatures look quite fun to play with. Oh, Arbor. You're so positive. Let's see what, uh, chat has to say. Blugs, they're so gross and have too many appendages. I see. It was a firm? Oh, we were like, like, finance people? Interesting. Watch out! You almost stepped on me! Just because I'm so tiny and hardly visible doesn't mean you can just waltz around. I could have died, like actually died. Well, anyways, I can't let you pass to Isla's kid. Unless you can answer three of my riddles. Kazi Cosmic, thank you so much for the raid! I'm sorry, my raids are busted when they're like... I don't know, I, I gotta check it out. I sometimes my raids activate, sometimes they don't. But how was your stream? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I don't want to go to college. Oh no, I think you're going to have a really good time. Um, it took me like a year to like get the hang of it. But after that, I met like some really good friends. I, I think that you're going to have a fun time. But I, I hope, I hope that it's not too much at once. Frat boy finance. <laughs> ooh woo. Ooh woo. My stream went fine. I wanted to check in on your great stream. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the boop. Welcome, welcome. 
Adam Smith, hi. Uh, for it is I, the famous Rebus the Mysterious. I'll give you a moment to mentally prepare yourself. All right, it's time to begin the riddling. If you want to save that kid behind me, riddle me this. Jack's father has three sons, Snap, Crackle, and... What kind of riddle is this? <laughs> Pop? Wrong! Come back when you know the right answer, which will be never. What? What could it be? Maybe the phone knows. No, 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 no. I wonder if there are any Bronkle Grogs out here. I heard they are vish vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. We should befriend one. Okay, befriend means kill. <laughs> I really hope we can save Isla's kids. She must feel so alone without them. That must be scary, being alone. Okay. Don't know where you're going with that, but... Whoa! Holy shit! Kind of scared me. What? Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, huh? 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 Oh, jeez. What? Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of it. This is kind of hard. I'll happy thoughts myself. Oh, that heals everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Bubble blast. I'll kill the mage first, I guess. Snap, crackle, and crap. Snap, crackle, and Larry. <laughs> Never trust a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Horses are under attack. Yo, Cabo, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, welcome. We're playing this very interesting RPG right now. Okay, why? Wait, 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 wait. A? Oh, no, 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 no. A. Okay, I was not prepared for this. Wait, don't boot me. A. D. S. Ow. Ah. Thank you so much for the boot. Okay. Chester Pester, let's go. E. Boom. Quick question. Bubble Blast. In Live 2D, is that line and the inside color of your mouth part of the same asset? Or are they separated like thought and whipping inside the mouth? The line inside the color of your mouth. Uh, oh, it's part of the same- it's part of the same thing. It's all one image. Um... Or do you mean, like, the whole inside mouth shape? That's a whole separate layer than the upper mouth shape. The upper mouth shape is hiding behind the upper lip. The upper lip has a little bit of, like, fur color so that it could hide behind and you don't see it. Can I get a club soda and some peanuts? Aw! <laughs> if I had it, I would give it. Let me drink some water. Spend a few hours on the road, it's not very fun. Oh, are you not living on campus? You have to commute. I can see how that could be exhausting. I, I hope it's not too bad though. Um, I don't know. Uh, good luck with school. Hi Rex, hi. Your outfit is adorable, thank you. S. The phone's really strong. Don't let this adventurer scare you. They're nothing compared to us blugs. S, damn it. What? I gotta... I think I'm... There's a cooldown on this, right? Okay. I'm so bad at this game. Okay. You're all just a bunch of dorks. It's okay. X. Okay, that was actually pretty neat. What does I need a favor do? Three, five, six. Oh my gosh, I have to dial a number. 
Hey, I need a favor. Hey, I got the stuff. Manta Rang Mage said a joke, but no one laughed. They've created an awkward silence. Their next turn will be skipped. Whoa, that's awesome. You're just too cool. My eyes have really been opened. Okay, goodbye. Let's see. Q. Bop. What's Bubble Blitz? Oh. Oh, B R J H? Oh. I don't even want to eat Isla's babies anymore. This fighter is just so talented. Wow, everyone's being so nice to me after I kicked the crap out of them. Well, they seemed nice. Okay. You should try slashing this one in the back. You'll get to attack first if you hit them before the encounter. Oh, like Paper Mario. Oh, another... Another... thing. You dig and find... NOTHING! I found N. Okay, here we go! Into my actual documents folder. Why do people value personality over intellectuality? It's such an interesting concept to dive into, and that's exactly what I've been doing for the past four days. I'm smart and extremely talented, but I lack empathy and, I guess, a personality people want to be around. Not my words. You'll understand. I, I will change. I want to change, but I'm far too busy with my work. Do I choose work over mending a broken bond? If I stop these entries, I guess you'll know my answer. Okay, we're back in the game. How's your weather? My weather's been kind of wacky. Oh, are you doing awkward silence? Hmm. Ah! I... <sighs> Blugs only, sorry. Okay. Are you gonna attack me or- oh! Damn it! I got psyched out! Okay. Okay. Bring it on! Bring it on! Oh! Damn it! That one's so hard! And I can't use my happy thoughts. Whoops! No! 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 This game is so hard! The hurricane storm's kicking my connection's ass? Oh no! Uh, I hope you stay safe. Who's a good otter? Aw! <laughs> You're cute. Why? Why? Why would you do this to me? B. Bop. S. I hate this butterfly. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, it kind of worked. Ugh. Got it. Another one. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Got it. Oh, whew. Okay. Z. I guess I'm going home starving again. What? But at least I made a friend today. Oh, I want to get rid of this... this butterfly. Court slap, butterfly, V, bop. Okay. Ugh. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Maybe this adventure isn't so bad after all. Well, I'm off. Bye. Blugster said a joke. Okay. Awkward silence. Got it. Just die? Sorry, I didn't mean that. What the hell? <laughs> uh... Oh. Damn, the phone is, like, really good. Sorry, that was mean. Chester Pester. 
J. Should I start healing? I wish I wasn't as insecure. Whoa, what the heck? It's okay, we'll be friends. I just have to befriend you with violence. Now I feel confident. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. Good job, they're never gonna forget us. Oh, jeez, I'm trying to attack them first, but it's so hard. Stealing Isla's children was like taking candy from a baby, except the candy was the baby, I think. This is confusing, let's just fight. Okay. Ugh. D. A. S. Ah. Okay, here we go. Ugh. So the canon is that Chester is beating, beating the ever-living positivity out of them? Yeah. Isn't it great? Okay, I can think happy thoughts again. K. G. N. Okay. That doesn't really heal that much. I want to kill the mage first. Oh. Do you really think you can defeat me? I can literally do magic. It's pretty rad. Okay. But I can do cord slap. Hey. I made you do that. I'm controlling your mind right now. Okay. Uh. No problem. A, D, S. A, D, S. No! Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. Ugh! Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Gotta kill the mage. J. I really don't know how you did that. But I'm still more talented. Oh yeah, we'll check this out. You. You. I didn't realize how talented you were. Wow, just take the kid. You deserve it. I'm off to practice more magic stuff. Shoot me an email if you want to do this again. Okay. Okay. Dude, I can't get over how strong the phone is. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. P. I want the Pat the Otter, but God said I need 1,500 points. Aw. Damn, let me do it for you. This one's for you. This one's for you, floofy man fox. Scary gun animations, hi. Welcome, welcome. Vapor, hello! This game is like Paper Mario now. And I'm kind of bad at timing my attacks. And I also have to know where all my keys are. <laughs> so complicated. I heard all over. Great job. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. S. No, what? I'm gonna die. Phony starts to feel insecure in front of their friends. They'll take more damage for a few turns. How embarrassing. No. No. F. I didn't know that I needed reflexes to play this game. B. Cord slap. Here we go. I. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. Okay. I could take a hit. Ugh. Giving yourself pats is cheating? What? Every one of you in chat right now, you can pat yourself. I won't tell nobody. Oh. Blugs rule, but not as much as you. Okay, bye. Phew, all right. Okay, let's get one of these babies back. I think one of Isla's babies might be in there. You should break it open with your sword. Uh, uh, uh. I can't imagine losing someone so close to you. Someone who is your world and your reason to wake up every day. You might never see them again. 
You would have to live your whole life without them. That thought is terrifying. I'm glad we have each other, so I don't have to think about that. Yeah, I'm glad too, chat. I'm glad too. Better typing tool than Mavis Bacon. Wait, what's this? Oh. Can I dig? You dig and find nothing. Let's see what my party members gotta say. Should I heal them? Nah, Phony can Phony can survive one more battle. I only have a certain number of compliments before I can't heal them anymore. Even I don't have connections out here. Okay, they all say the same stuff. Yes, I should heal? Hmm, I don't know. I think I got a few more battles in me. I see if you've returned. All right, I will ask you again. Jack's father has well, three sons. Snap, crackle, and what? It's not pop. What? What is it? Jack Jr.? Uh, thank you for the bits, Bactiman. I'm doing really good. How are you? Heal, please. Pog? I'm gonna try Jack Jr. Okay, that clearly was too easy. Oh my gosh, it was Jack Jr. <laughs> oh wait, Jack's father. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Jack wasn't the father. Oh my gosh, I'm a ding-dong. What the hell? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Scary Gun, thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? Thank you. Uh, let's do something a bit harder, so you, since you're so good at riddles. How many of Isla's children have we captured? Four, right? Wow, I see you are an expert. But no expert has ever made it past my final question. Countless have tried and failed, and you, and you will join them soon. Okay, here we go. What am I thinking of right now? What the heck? How did you know? This is crazy! <laughs> they must, like, accept every answer, right? <laughs> you, you really have proven yourself to be an expert of riddles. You have bested me, stranger. I owe you that kid, don't I? Alright, go on. I'm actually quite astonished by you. You are just so smart and talented. No one has ever gotten that last question correct. I can't wait to tell my friends about this. I'll have to make my riddles and questions even harder for the next time we see each other. You're such a riddle master, Chester. I am a riddle master. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I need to ask you something. You won't ever leave me, right? Actually, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, my thoughts are kind of just spilling out. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. Mm, as long as we stay together, nothing can tear us apart. Okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> got it. Boob. <laughs> the AI is kind of cute, but definitely needs to learn healthy boundaries. The Panda King, I'll see you later. Ha, have a good night, have a good night. Sleep well, okay? Hmm. So where are the other... Where are the other babies? Eyeball babies. Let's see what chat has to say. Gosh, I hope there aren't any poisonous plants around here. Dying of poison in the middle of a swamp doesn't sound like a fun afternoon. Yeah, you said it, buddy. I don't think these plants are... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, uh. Got it. Got it. You have to tell them they're okay. Who? My party members? Nah, they're they're all right. They're all right. It's fine. Now nah, we're good. I just have to time my attacks like really good, like really really good, really good, and we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I promise. Sleeping is time away from chat, and you would do that to Chester, right? <laughs> you would never. No, I'm I'm not the clingy one. Chad is. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Shit! That scares the crap out of me every time. I'm just here for the party. You're going to make me late. Now I need to fight you. 
Okay, I really hate the butterflies. Ugh! Got it. Let's see it. One, two, three! One more time, here we go. One, two, three! D-S-A. D-S-A. Ah, that was so bad! <laughs> no! I gotta think happy thoughts. See? Oh shit! Whoa! Why did it heal so much this time? I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, I'll see you later, Rex. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Thanks for dropping by. Ah, it's always nice to see you. Bubble Blitz. Okay. Here we go. W. O. A. Oh, I have to like hold them all together, right? I need a favor. Here we go. Nine, two, eight, four. Hey, I need a favor. I got the stuff. Butterflies appear in Manta Rang Mage's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. Whoa, what? They will now take damage for a few turns. Okay. I doubt you were even invited to the party. Here we go. Ugh! Whoa, 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 whoa! I've never seen this before! Ah! 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 No! That's new! No! Ah! 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 This is so hard! <laughs> Uh... A, B, S... Ooh, I'm not doing so hot. Okay. Why? Wow, you're amazing. Bye. Oh, it's nice that they, like, fill the space. I'm gonna kill this guy. B. Boom. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. You probably were invited. Literally everyone was. I'm gonna cord slap this MFR. Uh. B. Alright, I'm out of here. Bye. I honestly just wanted some cake. But who needs cake when you have friendship? Bye. <laughs> Tiger, hello! S S A D sad. S A D Okay. Here we go. Hey. Oh yeah, no problem. R. Got it. I hope you had a lovely day. Yeah, you too. How was your how was your how was your day? I saw you were streaming before. Bubble blast. Let's go. Oh. Got it. The dog's just like, mmm, I'm a dog. <laughs> or a raccoon or something. This raccoon looks a lot like a dog. Cord slap. Let's go. E. Well, if I'm not eating babies, then what do I have to live for? Friends, of course. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hooray, that... You were amazing in that fight. Fighting for friendship is so fun. Sure is, buddy. That hole looks mysterious. We went out to dinner and it was nice. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You dig and find nothing. There seems to be a mysterious hole in the ground. Will you jump in? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. I gotta find the babies first, right? Or is that... I, I gotta go in for the babies, okay. Uh, I think it might finally be time to heal Phony. Nah, we got a few more battles. We gotta- we gotta be risky. I don't want to waste my compliments. Do you jump in? Yes. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. Ah, oh, hell yes. Oh, goodness, it's so dark in here. Don't forget, you can press L to light up your lantern. L. Oh, that's... Okay. 
What the heck is that? What? What is that? This is like some Sonic Adventure shit. Oh my god, I gotta escape, like, the horrifying cloud. Ugh. Get out. Hi, Maxie. And yes, it is 1am. What? Surprise! Wait, you're not Tom. Where is he? This was supposed to be a surprise birthday party. Now it's all ruined, how could you? What a bad friend you are. Now I have to fight you. Okay. <laughs> Where is Tom? What did you do with him? D? A. A. Oh my god, Arbor's gonna die. B. Let's go. I gotta go, this is spoilers. Yeah, this game is so good, Maxi. I totally recommend it. It's called Buddy Simulator. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. X. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. D! No, no, no! Arbor, no! S. I gotta kill Tim. B. Please just leave, you weren't even invited. At least, I don't think you were. I sent a lot of invitations. Oh wait, I can rest to heal. Oh yeah, that's kind of good. Okay, that didn't work out. H. I can't use happy thoughts yet, the, the cooldown's still going down. Maxi, I'll see you later. Have a good night. Why? Why didn't anyone come? Is everyone really that bad of a friend? This can't be. Uh, why don't you rest up? Oh my god. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Okay. Shit. But wait, you showed up. You must be a good friend. You can rest. You can rest. Ugh. Got it. L. Take the L. Huh. Maybe Tom isn't a good friend after all. I put so much work into this party and he didn't even show up. No one did. This party should be for someone who deserves it. Hey, I have an idea. Let's make it your birthday party. Yeah, let's start this over. Just leave the room and come back in. Okay. That kind of works. I gotta go, but enjoy the rest of the game. I'll see you later, Kipple Roy. Have a good night. Uh, I can't believe Tim wants to throw you a party. We should just give him time to prepare. Huh? But I want to do what Tim says, because there's a whole cake to be eaten. What a cute outfit. Thank you so much, Rainbows. Oh, I like your name, Rainbows. Holy shit! Oh, God. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chester. Feel free to enjoy some cake and open up your present. Thanks for being a good friend. You can just use that ladder behind me to leave. Wow, Tim is such a wonderful blog. It's a shame he has no more friends left to come to the party. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Let's see. We'll open up the we'll open up the present. See if we can eat the cake and then I'll call it a stream. I've been playing for a while now. Happy broth day. I love broth. Wait, let, let's see what my party members have to say. Even I don't oh yeah, anyway, they say the same stuff. These blood creatures look quite fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. Love Arbor. You take a bite of the cake. It tastes like chocolate with a hint of dirt. I wonder what's inside. You should break it open with your sword. Uh. 
Oh, it's a baby. Okay. Look, it's just what we've been wishing for. How did Tim know? Uh, okay. Thank you, Tim. Rescued one baby. There's one left. I hope you have a great birthday, Chester. Yeah, you too. You, you too, Tim. You too. Yum, dirt chocolate. Happy boyfriend day. Who, who, who this guy? Hmm, not bad, not bad. I can't complain. Well, there's no way to save, right? Uh... Well... You know what? Maybe I'll save what's above that ladder for, for, for the next time. I think I'll save this game for next Thursday. I wish I tuned in five hours ago. Oh no! <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in now. Stick around for the raid. It's gonna be super fun. Um, I think Ahmed's might be streaming right now. Uh, and that's gonna be really exciting because Ahmed's has a new model today. Well, I gotta double check. I just got here. Oh no! Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. You came just in time for my birthday party. It's not my actual birthday, but it's my birthday in the game. Happy birthday. Thank you. My real birthday is in June. I stayed for an entire Chris Chester stream. Aw, Cohen. I really appreciate it. I had such a long stream today. I hope you're not too tuckered out. It's your birthday for sure? Sure, I'll take it. I'll have some dirt chocolate cake. Mmm, dirt chocolate cake. You're my friend, right? Yeah, of course I'm your friend. And chat's my friend, see? Uh. I think Tim learned a valuable lesson today. That you're the best and no one's a better friend than you. Damn, man, chat's so positive. We love it. Fucking love it. I was sleepy, McSleepy. I think I slept a little. Oh, that's, that's good. How do you feel? <laughs> I hope you have a good night, danger. I wrecked my sleep schedule watching the stream, but it was worth it. Tech dude, don't wreck your sleep schedule. Don't wreck your sleep schedule for anyone, but especially not me. Go to sleep. Oh my gosh, go to sleep. I hope you have a good sleep. Okay, I'm calling it. I'm quitting the game. Quit. The game is just getting good. I don't understand why you'd want to leave me. It's fine. Goodbye. I think they took it well. Anyways, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, let's do a raid. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna hop on Twitch to see, just to make sure if Ahmed's is streaming. Ahmed's is streaming. Mega Man Legends. Yeah, what should the raid message be? Hmm. Should it be like like flight related like now Three landing <laughs> mm, i don't know what what's like an airplane related what's an airplane related raid message uh now arriving <laughs> i don't know now arriving just that's it just now arriving i guess i don't know what you could say after that okay Emergency? No, that's too scary. I don't like that. That's scary. It's too scary for me. Too scary, five me. Thank you for fly- Yeah, yeah, thank you for flying Air Chester. Thank you for flying with Ot Air. Let's do it. I like that a lot. Thank you for flying Ot Air. Ooh. There's the raid message. We shall not sleep. Well, go to bed if you gotta go to bed. Please, please. <laughs> you shouldn't stay up for a stream. A stream should be like something you have in the background while you're awake. Okay. Uh, thank you everyone for watching me and hanging out with me and spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for <laughs> bearing with my like technical troubles at the beginning of the stream. Um, I'm really happy with this outfit. Uh, next stream, I want to get the shiny outfit set up. I, I turned shiny off right now because I hadn't like exported the shiny texture yet, but then we'll have everything. We'll have like shiny new chest air, shiny air chest air. It's gonna be super good. So stick around. I'm gonna be playing more Psychonauts this weekend. 
If you want to see me beat Psychonauts, I hope I can beat it this weekend. Okay, bye. Have a good night. Bye. Love you all. Good night.